Hey y'all. What's up, family? There, what up? Um, what I want, what I want everybody to do too. Make sure you pass this, share this with at least five people in your in, in your uh in your network. So if you got your Instagram, hit the share button that airplane down to the right, and then connect with at least four other people because this live on boundaries is a big deal. You know what I mean? Boundaries in our relationships, boundaries with our children, boundaries at our place of business, our workplace is very necessary. So we definitely want to share this dialogue. So make sure you do share this with those that's in your in your contact on IG. Hello. You know what I mean? All right, so you know, what I mean, we just gonna give it a second. I'm um, I'm at the field. Sheree just picking up. You know, what I'm saying picking up Dries. I got Harlan with me, and I'm uh, dropping Shamar off, and then we're gonna head right back up. Um, but the conversation of boundaries is a, is a big one. What up, Kelly? Um, too dope. What's happening? It's definitely a good a, a good you know, what I mean, topic of discussion. So before we get we get started, you know what I mean? Uh Lex, what up? Before we get started, definitely wanted to just lay down the groundwork of like how we kinda rock. If you had comments, of course, you can always text them, you know what I mean, and type it up in the comment section, you know. But if you really want us all to comment on it, because a lot of times when we talking, the comment section oh just it'll kinda scroll up and we won't be able to see it. So if you really want to tap in or if you really want your comment or question um, responded to, then put it in the question mark box. Hit that question mark box right there and type up your question there. And then that way we could all just use that as a, a talking point for discussion. So whoever chimes in, we can be talking about, you know, what I mean, that point that you that you may have made. Secondly, if you really just said, yo, Frank, what's up, bro? San Lego. That's hey, far. was good. So secondly, if you just have a, a, a conversation or a topic that you really want to chime in on, you don't feel like writing it down, you just want to hop on the live, hit the request, and then that way we can go and you can add to the conversation. We You could be on a live, and then we just had a dialogue right then and there. You know what I mean? Um, outside of that, like I said, share this, you know, to any of your contacts that's, uh, you know what I mean, in IG. And then we're going to get it rolling. So, Sheree, you can start us off since I did that that portion of it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, if anybody's new to the live, my name is Jamal. I mean, Sheree. <laughs> my name is Sheree. That's Jamal. <laughs> and we've been married for 12 years. And it's been very rocky. But um, we managed to survive through it come 2020. Um, the pandemic happened for us, and we managed to get back on track um, with our marriage and our relationship. So we decided to start this platform with um, just sharing our experiences and then getting experiences from other people and advice um, just from their own experiences from situations and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I know I hate talking. <sighs> so right, today's so topic good. is boundaries um so boundaries definitely goes a long way um boundaries is for relationships boundaries goes for family friends co-workers um just life and a lot of people don't respect boundaries a lot um and Sometimes you just have to um, clarify to some people what your boundaries are. Because sometimes people don't know what your boundaries are if you don't make it clear on what they are. So um, I definitely think that this is was a good topic. Um, and it actually got, actually got a lot of vote. It actually got 100% yes. It didn't get any no's. Um, we got all yeses with boundaries. Um, so... Um, yeah. So Jamal, would you like to start off? Um so I'm a I'm a I'm a defer to you just on the start, just because I'm kinda like you know what I'm saying handling something right this second. But 
just uh maybe give us an example you know of um of a situation on a boundary side of things or you know just give us your perspective on it and then i'm gonna chime in after you ron hello sir um hey cousin so my definition of boundaries um far as like uh i could say with family um I experienced um, boundaries being crossed with my own family member, um, very close to me. And um, she crossed the line of boundaries where uh, you wouldn't think that family would do something like that, but they did. Um, you might hit the mute. Oh, um, sorry, I'm driving. So, How about you? How about you? Hold up, where is it? Oh. <laughs> turn your mic off. <laughs> Um, so, uh, basically I was like dealing with somebody at the time and she basically slept with them. And, um, that was just one boundary that you just do not cross. That's just like a friend. Um, you just don't do anything like that to nobody that you care about. Um, and it was taken as like, not that big of a deal. Y'all, you know, you marry, you this, you that. All these excuses in the book, but it's just like when 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 do you look at the big situation and say, you know, I was wrong, you know, I shouldn't have did that to you. That wasn't the right thing to do, regardless of the circumstances of the person. Um, you know, you just you know, it just wasn't right. But she didn't look at the situation like that. She looked at it as, again, like it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I don't understand why you feel some type of way, why you shouldn't be mad. You got a husband, all, all of these excuses for it. And um, so now it's like, I can't even have no respect for her. And this is my own flesh and blood. And um, it basically ruined our relationship because she felt as though she didn't do anything wrong. And it's just certain things you just don't do to just family, friends, somebody that you care about in general, you wouldn't hurt them in that way. So, um, for me, um, that was just one boundary that I just, you just can't cross. Like we, I really don't have no respect or, nothing really to say to you and can ever trust you if you can do something like that so low um so for me that was like one thing that yeah it do take two but we talking about somebody that we share the same mother i'm not talking about no fifth cousin nothing you know that somebody that knows my whole background know any and everything about me I just felt like it was just, you know, a straight attack on me. Um, and take and I two just is looked a, at her. Take two is not cool because take two is trying to give it like, okay. Well, yeah, it's like it. justifying so, man, the situation. I don't care about her. Yeah. You move my person. Fuck him. Yeah. You move her home hey. with your actions. Yeah, <laughs> like I, 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 can't, I can't hold the other person accountable because I can care less about them. I care more about... My, my my flesh and blood. I cared about them the most. I didn't never think that we would ever that they would ever stoop that low and hurt me in that way. Um and I probably won't ever even forgive her for it because of how she handled it. Not more so of what happened, it was like how she handled the situation, how she looked at the situation like, well, it's not that big of a deal. I didn't do nothing. Oh, okay. So it's like if you'll do that to me, you you'll hurt me in any way, shape, or form. Like you will you don't even care. You you won't even care. So, um for me it's like it's just certain things you just don't do when it comes to especially with family. Um you just don't cross those lines. Um, but, uh, hey, Lisa, that's just one of the experiences I had with somebody that just crossed a boundary that I just didn't ever think, 
um, whatever happened because they're family, and that's just a family experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's, um, I was thinking too while you were saying that. Um, so, well, I'm thinking about boundaries too. I'm thinking about all right, cool. So, you can't necessarily, to me, like in this situation, I guess you can't necessarily. Um, you know, you can't claim the attack, you know what I mean? Or you can't claim what somebody did to you. You can only, like, control how you respond to it and what you're willing to continue to accept. So the fact that that was done, you know what I'm saying, somebody, you know, um, you know just violating, you know what I mean? Violating what, what, what we would consider to be, you know, a standard rule. Like, you know what I mean? Don't, if we yeah. family like that, you don't mess with somebody, I'm either Phone rigging up. It's still up yeah, you probably had to turn the Wi Fi off. Yeah. So, when do you forget? Yeah, like, you know, in that case, you can't you can't control what they did to you, you know what I mean? But you can control what they do to you again. And that and for me, that that's where the boundaries come in. You like training people how to treat you, you know what I mean? And that's how it is. You, you got to train people how to treat you. You can't assume, you know what I mean, that people are going to treat you to the standard that you hold yourself. Like, people that treat you to the standard that they want to hold you at. They might look at you like, you You look at yourself as, as somebody, you know what I mean, that, that deserves respect, that deserves, you know what I mean, um, you know, honor, that deserves somebody putting them in, in their feelings you know what I mean? As number one, but everybody's not looking at it like that. So you got to know how to pop somebody's hand, you know what I mean, when they get too close to the stove. And that's where the boundaries come in. So yeah, you, you violate it, you know what I mean? But you're not going to be able to violate like that again, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but even like, I mean, in the comments, a lot of people saying like, you know, forgiving and things like that. Like, I mean, I've had a conversation with them and they still, you know, like, after the dust settled, blatantly still was constantly keep doing it again. Like, it didn't just happen one time. It happened several times. Mm -hmm. Several times. And it's like, okay, so am I going to keep making an excuse for you because you're my family? Or am I going to wake up and smell the roses? And be like, you don't care about the family thing don't mean anything. Now I got to treat you like somebody out on the street. Because at that point, is like you don't care about um, mm -hmm. me or you don't have no respect for me. Um, I don't, you know, there is no boundaries. Clearly not because if you feel as though what you did the first time wasn't a big deal, you decided to do it again and then you did it again and like it was just like, okay, now enough is enough. Like, I can't keep acting like because you are who you are, which sometimes we get caught up in because depending on who the person is, is we, in our minds, we justify and we'll make an excuse for them. Like, well, maybe they didn't mean it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Like, maybe they weren't in their right mind. We're making all the excuses in the world to justify the behavior of someone and what they're doing in that moment and um knowing that it's not cool um and i think because of who she is to me i made an excuse for her actions and it wasn't right and it was just like because of who she was i was just like you know what i mean all right we're gonna go through our little moment and you know what i mean i'll get over it but it's like okay how many times i'm gonna say that until you know what I mean now I'm like I'm hurting my own self at that point at this point I'm hurting myself yeah cause I mean you know you gotta it, like um somebody said in the, in the comments like yeah you gotta train people but a dog gonna be a dog you know what I mean which is a good point too like you know sometimes the best way to train somebody is to is to leave them alone you know what I mean? And and for me, that's probably one of my, you know, that's just one of my, my tactics that I use with people that I feel like that don't deserve my presence. You know what I mean? And when you're really a good person to people, 
your absence means something. Like, it's felt. You know what I mean? And regardless of how it's taken, a lot of times you got to do that for yourself. You got to, you know what I mean? You got to step off of people for yourself, for your own dignity. You know what I mean? To say, yeah, I am somebody and yeah, like, it's going to be repercussions behind not treat me how I deserve to be treated. Whether, even if it's just stepping away from you. I, I got to step off of people, you know what I mean? That I feel like um, don't handle me right. And I'm cool with that, you know what I mean? And and that's, that's you know, that's just a part of it. And, and the one thing, somebody else said that, like, a lot of times, exactly, remove access. Somebody said a lot of times with family, they just use that as a saving grace. So they feel like, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we family. And that's probably going to be what's used. That's probably what's going to be, you know, used to try to keep that relationship or that situation going. You know, somebody can always say, look, with y'all family, this and the third. You know, mm -hmm. but you really can't. You can't pick your family that you were born into your family. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you know, some family don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't act like family. So you can't really, you know, you can't really give them that. You got, you may have friends that you chose yourself. Now those people, you consciously made an effort to build and maintain a relationship with. You didn't have to have a relationship with them at all. So a lot of times, you know, with friends, you know, a lot of times you could do a better job with choosing the people that you feel deserve to be around you better. You know, and those people, you know, would treat you like family is supposed to treat you. You know what I mean? So, um, so like, like, you know, like, like it was said in terms of boundaries, you know what I mean? You have to put something up in place so people can know that, you know what I mean? This is not something that is accepted. And that's, and, and it's real because people do treat like they know who to treat a certain way to. They'll try it. Like, they'll try it. You even see with your own kids. Like, your own kids, they might, you know, they might be, like, uh, going back and forth with you, talking back and forth with you, you know what I mean? Because they're your kids or whatever. But they might not do that to their granddad or their grandma, you know what I'm saying, or, or auntie such and such. They ain't even playing around with her because they set up boundaries from the rip. You, you know, you might give them a little bit more exemption because they're your kids, you love them, woo -woo. but that's it. it. People, they going to treat people how they, you know what I mean, feel like that person is going to allow them to treat them. And that's just, that's important to put that out there from the rip. So that was, I mean, that's, that's a good example. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, for me with boundaries, um, I'm, I'm going to say like uh, this, um, very similar, uh, very similar in terms of you know just feeling betrayed. You know what I mean? Um, before and this is like outside of relationship. I guess we'll go to like um, for me. All right, so your example for anybody that's just coming in. Of course, the topic is boundaries, and Sheree just gave an example um, of family. You know what I mean? Pretty much just betraying their relationship, and you know how she had to set up boundaries in terms of just leaving that person alone or whatever the case may be to establish that, you know, you're not going to just mistreat me, betray me and feel that everything is going to be cool. And because it was family, you know, even tried to reach out and try to, in some type of way to, you know, uh, reconcile the relationship and it just still ain't feel right. It just wasn't there. So, you know, um, just based on her standard, she, you know, felt like, look, I can't, you know, I can't continue on with this relationship because I don't, feel the respect you know what i mean and that's what it boils down also to is respect and um so my situation you know what i mean uh that i'll go over is similar it's similar to it or it, it's not probably like it don't have to be a specific example but in general like when it comes to boundaries I, i'm i'm very big on that too because for me like i like it's it's hard to be the type of person that you know um that's kind of like in a position where you're looking out for a lot of people you know what i mean and um you know there for different people and supportive of different people and whatnot and that's kind of like the like where i come in at so for me you know what i mean i'm definitely like the type of person that's like a giver you know what i mean and um just open with you know, just trying to be supportive of people. I'm like looking out for others, you know, in the position of like just 
My, I'm breaking up. Okay. It's still breaking up or no? Mm -mm. Oh, all right. So, yeah, just from being a, in a position of being like a giver, you know, I always have to be aware if somebody's taking advantage of that, you know what I mean? Because one of my sayings is, I don't mind being a good dude, but I'm not going to be nobody's nice guy. And what that means is pretty much it's like, you know, I'm going to be solid and, cool, you know, thorough with people that I rock with and, you know, people that I'm, you know, there to support or whatever, mentor. But if I ever feel like, you know what I'm saying, somebody's taking that for granted, you know what I mean, I got to set the boundaries up from the rip because I'm not going to be a sucker and just be looking out for people that don't respect, you know what I'm saying, who I am um, or, you know, are trying to take advantage of just the kindness, you know what I mean, just having a, a kind heart. So that's one of the things for me that's really big is is a thin line between a good dude and a nice guy. And I'm not going to be on the, on the other side of being uh, of that line being a, a, a nice guy because nice guys get taken for granted and taken advantage of. And so I have to assert if I ever feel like I'm getting, you know what I mean, played on a nice guy tip, I got to, you know what I mean, I got to make the presence felt from the rip. So for me, that's, you know, one of the things that I kind of um, set up boundaries with in terms of like, you know what I mean, just having a kind heart, but understanding that some people, you know what I'm saying, they really do appreciate that. A lot of people really do appreciate just people that have a genuine kind heart and they reciprocate it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what I mean by that is, you know, they, they follow up, they look out too. So now you got like a relationship of like, you know, you looking out for people and people looking out for you and then that kind of, that energy continues to recycle itself in a good way. You know what I mean? But every once in a while, you got some people that's just takers and, you know what I'm saying, like, they'll continue to just be a vacuum. You know what I'm saying? They just one way in and they're not, you know, they're not sharing blessings outward or, you know, or just, again, just appreciating, you know, um, the, 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 the love that's being, you know what I mean, put out there. And with those people, you know what I mean, um, I got like sensors and them sensors go up, you know what I mean? And I got the, you know, I either got to remove myself or I got to check the situation or, or whatever the case may be. Um, and that's just more so like a, I, I don't want to say defense mechanism, but maybe I guess to a certain degree it is just to keep everybody even. Because like I said, you know, sometimes I just kind hearted, you know what I mean? Just look out and, um, but I do keep, you know what I mean? An eye on, you know what I mean? Who's taking that for granted. And I think that's important because I've been there and, and, um, even within like on a relationship side of things and been taken for granted, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, is it was like, I felt in, you know, past relationships, like I had a situation where I felt like, um, I was putting so much into, you know what I mean? Like the relationship and the person had gotten comfortable, you know what I'm saying? They had gotten comfortable with some of the, with, with the work that I was doing and putting in, you know what I'm saying? Into the relationship to the point where it was like, you know, I felt like I was carrying somebody, you know what I mean? On my back, but I didn't feel like if my legs got tired, this person could, you know what I'm saying? Could help to lift me up, you know what I'm saying? Or, or push us forward. Cause if you on my back, then that just mean, Hey, you know, you might need, rest for your legs, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, cool, but once I sit you down, you know what I mean, if my legs is tired, will you be able to, you know what I'm saying, still move forward and support me the way I supported you, and that's a burnout, you know what I mean, that's definitely a burnout, because some people are in relationships where it's, it's one-sided, where, you know, you're putting out so much energy, whether it's you know, emotional energy, whether it's financial, you know what I'm saying, energy, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, service or whatever, you know what I mean, whether it's, you know, you, you preparing, you know what I'm saying, this person and helping them with whatever they got going on, or you just holding it down in there, you know what I mean, getting themselves together, it's like, yo, you got to have some, some, some boundaries, you have to have some responsibilities for some of these people that are in your life that may be benefiting from either your good heart <laughs> from either your good credit or your, you know what I mean, your good position, you got to, like, you really got to, you really got to, like, test people to, or not even, to, you You got to <laughs> test people for one to see either what you in it for 
You know what I mean? And if it's just about you and you don't have any conscience of reciprocating, then, you know what I'm saying, that person is a leech. You know what I mean? And then not only that, you got to give people responsibilities. Like, I was in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, and I've I've always worked at least two jobs, you know what I'm saying, before I started, you know, just working as a entrepreneur 100%. When I was actually working um, a, che a paycheck job, I had two jobs and a hustle. So I was like either two two uh, gigs, two jobs, or I had even up to three uh, jobs at, at certain points for like maybe like two years. I had like three jobs. You know what I mean? Um, but I remember coming home in a relationship, you know what I mean, from two jobs. One of my jobs I worked at was Home Depot. You know what I mean? And I was in the lumber department. So that's where all the semen is. Of course, you know, the wood, this, that, and the third. So it was a dusty, you know what I mean, dusty-ass uh, department. So I just remember, like, you know what I mean, coming home after a long day at work. And, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm excited to come home or whatever like that. And I come in the door, and I don't smell no chicken. I don't smell no Lysol, no pine saw. Like, I'm like, God damn. Like, what the fuck was you doing all day that, you know what I mean? I could, I ain't smell no laundry detergent. I ain't smell shit. It just smelled like a, the house was just stale. It don't even seem like the, the fucking windows are cracked open. And at that point, you know what I mean? It just became very clear to me that this was a one-sided relationship and I'm going to have to make a decision. I mean, either just keep on doing it and don't complain about it, or you got to you gotta make a move. You have to set up boundaries and make a move, you know what I mean? And from that day on, you know what I'm saying, I had began my plan, you know what I mean, to step away from that relationship, amongst other things. But, you know, um, you could be in a, a one-sided one relationship where you're bringing things to the table and somebody is not you know what I mean, reciprocating that. And somebody, people can get comfortable with you doing certain things and feel like, and then to a certain degree, get entitled and start to feel like it's supposed to be like that. So it's very important. And at that time I was, you know, younger. So I didn't really recognize or understand the importance of, you know what I mean, um, of of boundaries. Because that that was partially my fault as well. So I can, I can sit here and be like, yo, you know what I mean? Shorty ain't do this, she ain't do that. And which was true. But some of that was my fault because she got comfortable. Yeah, somewhere along the lines, I ain't step up and open my mouth and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? If you know, if I'm doing XYZ, if you hear like, boom, we a team. So, you know, at least, you know, play some type of part in the household if you're gonna be, you know what I mean, home while I'm working, you know what I mean? And somewhere along the line, either I did say it and it didn't get, you know what I mean, received, or I didn't say it and it just continues. So some of the way we get treated, we got to take responsibility for it because we didn't check the situation, you know what I mean? And that's important, you know what I mean? A lot, we have to start checking situations and people respect that, you know what I mean? They might not like it, but for real, for real, you know, when you hold yourself to a certain standard people have to respect that and you got to love yourself you know what i mean in order for you to realize what you deserve and once you realize what you deserve you got to hold that in a high regard and you can't let nobody shit on that because as soon as they do they're going to continue to do that they're going to feel like they deserve to do that you know what i mean and them same people they will treat other people completely different and that's that's the problem like if you just treat everybody like that's one thing but you know what I mean? Some of them same people would treat other people completely different. And that's based on the boundaries that were set. So for me, I, I think definitely, you know what I mean? You know, recognize yourself as a value. Recognize yourself and love yourself. You know what I mean? And that's where you're going to start to to realize where you need to get the respect that you deserve in certain areas. You know what I mean? So that's that's how I feel about that. Um, so, so, so boundaries, right? Um, especially like in relationships. So, I feel like that's something that should just be discussed. Um, 
on on a not a consistent basis but like from time to time because your boundaries that you had early on in your relationship may not may not be the same boundaries you have uh 10 or 5 or 6 or 7 years down the line um so with when you when when you tell somebody about your boundaries like your boundaries may be a little bit different because of experiences that you may have had in previous relationships or um previous things that just may have happened to you in general um so i think that um when you say boundaries to like when you think about your boundaries i feel like your boundaries you have in the beginning of a relationship may be different later on in a relationship especially even when you get married like your boundaries change like it's not everything is not always the same um so i feel like if you're not voicing that then um it can cause a problem within the relationship and then you looking as you trying to get a move to you know figure out a plan to escape but if you're voicing you know hey I feel like, you know, this is rubbing me the wrong way or, um, you know, how certain situations is being handled. I don't like it. You know, I don't feel too good about it. If you're not being clear about that, then, um, you know, that can really cause friction and then it, it causes the relationship to turn to something that it don't need to. So, um, I think it's better to just voice, um, you know how you feel about a situation in that time because that person may not necessarily know you know how you feeling in that moment like you know it's like okay you come home no cooking no cleaning no no nothing and it's like okay you know now if you having a constant conversation that's one thing but if you're not really saying too much of anything and you just kind of feeding off what you see and not really voicing how you feel about what's going on. Cause you may not know the person might be going through something. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, it's definitely best to have a conversation. Like, you know, listen and then get an understanding. And some people need help. Like some people, it don't click just like that. Like some people don't just get it right then and there. Um, it could be a, it could be a reason why the person may be doing the things that they doing. But if y'all not having a conversation about it, then, you know, of course it's going to be like this person don't care or whatever. So. Yeah, um, no, I, I respect that. That's a, that's a, um, that's, that's valid in terms of, like you said, you never know if somebody might, if somebody might need help or support, you know what I mean? In certain areas or whatever the case may be. So that's valid. And, if, and like you said, they might be going through something, you know what I mean? Which is which is a good point. So my question is like at at what point, especially like like you were saying, like in a marriage or whatever, um, because it's such a long term commitment. It's a you know, it's it's a life commitment. So at what point and I and I'm oppose this to anybody that's, you know, that's um in the comments or whatever, at what point do you draw the line? with your boundary and say, you know what, we've given this X amount of time. I don't see, you know, progress. You know what I mean? If you, if you're in a, a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause patience is one thing, right? But then again, sometimes people will take advantage of your patience and look at it as a sign of weakness and they'll continue on doing crossing the line of the boundaries that you set. You know what I mean? So it's like, at what point, you know, in a relationship, do you say, you know what, um, I've set boundaries, we've discussed it, or whatever the case may be, and it's not working for me. I don't see growth in this area, and you know what I'm saying, um, I have to, I have to set a precedence because you're just continuing to do the same thing. So what would you say, like, um, in terms of and, and, and with boundaries, what would you say is like a it's hard to say a specific time frame, but like, you know, at what point is it you being patient versus, you know what I'm saying, somebody taking that kindness for weakness? You know what I mean? Like how do, it's how, like, how would you know if the person take the kindness for weakness? You won't like 
are you like trying to like if you are you trying to be supportive and help and figure out like you know maybe the person don't quite understand like you know what i mean maybe maybe the person like not necessarily doing something intentional but may not know how because again like you know they may have been raised a certain kind of way or look have a different meaning of whatever you might feel like is like you crossing the line like it don't necessarily have to be like they are just blatantly just don't care about your feelings or they just don't care about what you're saying um you know because you have some situations that's like that like the person is not just intentionally trying to just be like blatantly being disrespectful especially if it may be a moment where you see them trying or whatever but then it's like they fall off and you know they might get back into stuff that is like okay we had this conversation i mean sometimes i feel like with that you just gotta have patience with depending on who the person is if you know them and you know that they're not trying to blatantly hurt you or try to be disrespectful or try to cross that line then you know what i mean it's like it, it takes time i mean nothing happens overnight depending on who the person is anyway shall i say well i, I think i think too and i agree patience is something so any this the other thing too with anybody that's really you know what i'm saying that's that's tuning in um on the side of like when it comes to marriage a lot of boundaries get crossed like a motherfucker you know what i mean and because it's a, you know what I mean, it's 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 a long-term commitment, you know what I mean, you are put in a situation where you should have patience, you know what I'm saying, with some of these things, you know what I'm saying? So um, in, in, in a marriage, you know what I mean, it's interesting because you don't know if you're being patient or if, you know what I mean, the boundaries are just getting taken for granted, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, it's not a, a right or wrong answer to it. I don't know. But I think that in certain relationships, like, you know what I mean? If we date in this and the third, some of that stuff is just like, hold up. Like, you know, you crossing the line, you know, you uh, we, we not going to start it up like that. We not going to go this route. But like when you're in a, a marriage, it's like, all right, you crossing the line. You know what I mean? I don't like this. This is something we need to work on. You know what I mean? And it might, you know, you might see some change, but then, if you see it resurface again, at the end of the day, you've already committed to a long-term, you know what I mean, um, a lifelong, you know what I mean, commitment with somebody. So it's like, it's interesting because in a, <clears throat> in a, a marriage, you are going to be forced to deal with things that you wouldn't deal with if you were just dating some, if you were dating somebody or, you know, if they y'all was kicking it. It's certain things that you will be forced to deal with to a certain degree based on your overall commitment, you know what I mean, um, inside of a marriage, which is, you know what I'm saying, which is interesting, you know. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, that's that's one of the things that I think is interesting, too, because, again, when it comes to the boundaries, I always, like, to me, I think that we get comfortable with people that we're with on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, a uh, relationship that you with somebody, you know what I mean? If it's a marriage, if it's even friendships over a period of time, we get comfortable with these people and we don't treat them like how we treat new people. You know what I mean? Because you can see how with other relationships, you know what I'm saying? It may be certain things that you're requesting that don't, that may not get honored like that. You know what I'm saying? But you can see how they'll have that type of honor for a new situation. You know what I mean, or a friendship, or whatever the case may be. So it's it's interesting. We can be comfortable and feel like just because you married to somebody or a relationship with them, that you know what I mean, you can just violate. You know what I mean, because that's really the person you're supposed to be upholding, if anything. And a lot of times, the people that's really riding with us would be the first ones. You know what I'm saying? That you that you give like your ass a kiss to a certain degree. You know what I mean, Scott, what up? What up, my nigga? How, how, how my niggas doing? Y'all good? Oh, man, we in a building, <laughs> here. <laughs> what up with you? <laughs> we talk about nice boundaries up there. It's, it's yeah. boundaries, bro. 
How many how many times you gonna have to tell us, bro? You know what I mean? How many times you have to check it? You know what I mean? Before you check it, like you know what I mean? Like yeah, I, I give now. Like I said, bro. Like I'm living my Tony life. music, Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. I said now. It's like I'm living my life, bro. I give. Ah, bro, like I, I ain't gonna say a possible. I, I, I pop a little jab and then I give you a stern situation, and I'm just away from it, bro. Yeah, I think I bring too much value. Not even being yeah. smart, bro. I just think I bring too much value for the dumb shit, bro. Mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you a question, right? Um, so do you think that having, you know, what I'm saying, um, high standards is going to um, is going to keep you, you know what I'm saying, in a cycle of just like, you know what I'm saying, recycle. well, not even recycling, but, you know what I'm saying, uh, unwrapping the candy, you know what I mean, taking a bite and then tossing it in the trash. Well, like, you know, you know I, I ain't, I, I'm okay with getting me a little sample, beloved. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I will survive. <laughs> yeah, brother, you know what I'm saying? I have my little sample, so, you know, it's all good. But uh, to be serious, yeah. man, I, I really think, like, um, like I seen something today, like, with Corey Holcomb, I think he sent to me, something like that. Corey Holcomb was talking about, like, if a woman, if a woman don't, uh, damn, if she don't, like, if she's not, like, submissive or she don't, um, damn, I forgot the word he said. Yeah, he said, you can't uh, her. he said, if, if a woman don't, um, I submit to you, but if she don't like listen to what you're saying, she not going. She, she you can't protect her, right? Yeah. So basically, make a, this just to go back around and just to get to the point was like, there's no way, like if a chick, like you said, if a chick don't respect you, you're done. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean, if she, if she don't respect you, you're done. So it was like, especially if she know like, all right, I can get this nigga to try this. No, I'll eat that. Try this, babe. Try this, babe. Try this, babe. No, I'll eat that. And then next thing you know, you eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, just just little shit like that. If they can keep changing you to get you to do stuff. You fucking done, bro. So like I, I said, man, you gotta you gotta stand on something, bro. So is that man, is that just a man thing? No, I'm trying to no, Sheree, you already know. I'm asking a question. I'm not trying to get I'm not right. trying to get in Sheree, you wanna be toxic and go talk about man. I don't know. I'm just the... saying you gotta have you gotta draw a line of saying about something. You yeah. have to. No, that's what they say, you know what I mean? You, 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 let you let a nigga get away with some next thing they ice skate on you. Know? I mean you gotta you gotta draw a line in the sand. Like you have to. Yeah. I don't yeah. care who you is. You gotta you gotta have some type of like you gotta stand on something. You gotta stand on something. You know what I mean? You have to. No, I definitely agree okay. with that. And 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 it's interesting because during like during I mean shit, dating, while you dating and manipulation, come on with the bullshit. Motherfuckers always trying to use a, 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 a what they call it? A, um, you don't like the me. <laughs> who said who manipulation? Who said manipulation? <laughs> always trying to use a, a, a gaslight. Always they on somebody's Wi-Fi. Well, they said they on somebody's Wi-Fi. They on somebody's Wi-Fi. They ain't got no Wi-Fi. What's the phone? Tell them to stand tall. <laughs> Fuck the phone don't work. Fuck out of here. Nah, but like, you got to, it's, it's a constant battle. It's a constant struggle in relationships. And I think, nowadays even more because women you know what i'm saying are in position so you know they not it's not like back in the day where the man just made the money you know what i'm saying and the woman would just um i'm not gonna say just be at home but the woman would be at home you know what i mean and, and, and holding down the fort at home so now it's like you know what i mean it is it, it's it's a back and forth it's a power struggle and you know what i mean it is boundaries that's you know what i mean getting tested like, it, like intentionally. Like, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how far I can get with this nigga. Like, I'm gonna see what I can get from him. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, how hard he gonna stand on whatever his, whether it's his morals or his beliefs or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna well, see how far you know what I mean I can take this. God, and he's special. And and, it, and it's and it's, it's 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 vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right. it definitely is a struggle with with boundaries on both ends because everybody trying to see how far they can go with the person that they with. You know what I mean? That's how that's how I look at it, and and it is it is a form of a game, and you gotta play that, Joe. So like, Sheree, let me ask you a question, right? Mm -hmm. Just think about like your husband, like just any just any man you ever dated. If you know you can bend that nigga, and you can manipulate the, the the guy, or you can bend him, and you can manipulate him. You're never gonna really respect him, so you're already gonna know, like. But I don't not, really agree with that, though. Girl. And the reason why I don't uh, listen. 
You asked the question, son. Right, right, right. The reason why I don't agree with that is because I feel like I would do the same thing. That's how I look at it for me. Like, I, if I know, like, somebody that I'm with will win, willing to bend over backwards for me, I'm going to be willing to bend over backwards for him. So it's right. like, if you were... If you're putting limitations on to what you would do for me because you feel as though it's gonna mess it's gonna mess with you as a man or take away from you as a man or belittle you or make you feel like I'm trying to control you, then it's like mm, now I gotta put limits on what I would do for you. And I feel like that'd be the issue in our relationships in general because it's like, okay, well, you're not going to keep asking me to do this and do that and do this and do that and do this and do that. And then man was like, oh, no, uh-uh, hold up. Pump the brakes. Well, hold on. Hold on now. Now you now you're trying to control me. But it's really not that. Just like you said with the eat thing. Like, if if you like, babe, try this, try this, try this, I'm trying to broaden your horizons on your taste buds because I, if I like it, I just want you to try it. And I feel like you know, it's nothing wrong with that. But all right. All right. I'm just you saying know. some people do stuff like that. Some people do stuff like 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 even like like men, right? If certain if you do certain things to certain men, they look at that as weakness. It's just it's crazy, it's like a sick game. So you just gotta be like on the defensive a little bit. Not saying yeah, everybody I mean, you, you like, do you do to a certain degree, but I feel like, you know, even when we talk about being submissive and things like that, you know, um, in relationships, you gotta be open minded with certain situations. Some things I get like it's like okay, it's like ah, oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. You know, it, you it don't. I don't care who it is. I'm just not gonna do it. It, it don't even like have what, anything Sheree, let's to talk about it. Like, like what? Sheree, like what? Let's talk about it. Like what? All right. So like, <laughs> let's talk about it. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Jamal really wants me to get into football, yo, but I just can't. Like, I, it's not intentional. I just can't. It's just not my thing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just not one of them girls that just like football. And it's a lot of women that do. But for me, it just never was my thing. And we used to really, like, get in arguments over the TV because he, like, you're going to watch this football. And I'm like, but I don't want to. So it looked mm -hmm. like I was going against him, but it really didn't have anything to do with him. It just really wasn't my thing. And it was like I never was mm -hmm. even trying to get into it either because I didn't want to. But it wasn't nothing personal. But it was like, I don't understand why you don't want to. And I'll be like, I don't know. Like. I don't, I, I just never did. I just never. Like, sports was really not my thing. And there's some people that really be into it. You know, they click with, like, the guys they with at the time. And, you know, they'll be, like, all into it. But any guy I've ever messed with, I just never was really into the sports. And it was right. just. So, no, I got you. That's thing. what I'm trying to say. Like, like, a woman, like, if a woman be like, yo. Let's say I've been Christian all my life. And this one, I'm like, listen, brother, be with me. You got to be Muslim. Yeah, man. Right. And right. I, I turn Muslim. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking, I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, you're done. That's it. You, you're done. Why are you laughing? Because you know I'm right, Sheree. you no, done. listen. So it's like you got to stand on certain shit. You have yeah, to. but I'm just, I'm just saying to say, like, things like that, like, you know, sometimes it just be like it's not to go against the grain because like it's something that I want to do that I, you know, I know like I can't force him to do. But, but it's just like at the end of the day, it's just some people don't understand it. Like it's a big thing. And it, you know, it really was like a thing at one point in time for us. And it was like, well, I don't like it. So, I mean... What do you want me to do? Like, it really, it's just mentally, it's just something that just never was my thing. And no matter, even if I tried to, I was just like, yeah, no. Like, I don't want to see so, I don't, so I, I don't, don't want to enjoy it. So I'm going I'm to add to this. Like, that, to me, it is a, a, a form of you just going against the grain. You know what I mean? Like, because see? it's not something that really... <laughs> 
um, it's not like it's a food where it's, it's a taste bud thing. <clears throat> it's not like it's a physical thing where you feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? It's literally a show and what, just like how you were saying, all right, well, you, you know what I mean? Your girl might be trying to, not trying to control you, but she just might be trying to, you know, let you taste something because, you know, she might like the taste of it. And what happens is when you form a union with somebody, the whole purpose is for you to let go of some of the, you know, me ways you used to think about certain things and kind of share in with something with your partner that they enjoy too. So what happens is now when you start to share in things that your partner enjoys, then like your, your quality time and your time together, it starts to extend because now it's like, Oh, it's not just, he's not downstairs watching the game and I'm, you know, up, or he's not just in the basement watching the game and I'm upstairs, you know what I mean? Uh, watching such and such. Now it's like, all right, we both rocking out. You know what I mean? We're bonding now. So like maybe when you were, you know what I'm saying, younger dating and just, you know, dating, I get it. You know what I mean? But when you get into a marriage, you, that's the whole purpose of being married because you creating a union. So with certain things that you're going to do, you know, that you, that you enjoy that I should want to have some type of interest in because I want to share in that enjoyment with you, you know what I mean? And so that's where the bigger picture comes in, you know what I mean? Now our son plays football. So are we going to just say, I just don't want to like football when our son is playing? Like, no, you got to get involved. Like, that's something that your son is doing. So you should know what position or you should know who's scoring or what, you know what I mean? Or, you know, what, what you should know some of these things. And that's when, like for me, with Harlem, you know what I'm saying? When she's in dance, they got, I'm front row. I'm the I'm that boy. I'm the dad with the I'm excuse me excuse uh excuse me excuse me. I got the camera out. You know what I mean. I'm front row, and you know what I mean. And if she need to practice any moves or whatever, I'm we gonna have fun. We are gonna do what we do. I'm not necessarily no dancer. You know what I mean per se. And but again, this is something that we do when we're we're breaking down our old thoughts, our old ways. When we're sharing and we're unifying and we're enjoying each other's things that we like and that's how you build your relationships and make your your friendship you know and your in your relationship stronger because you like you know what not only do i care about you i care about you so much i care about things you care about you know what i mean so that could be you know your shows or it, it could be you know what i mean something that you do on the side it could be certain music you're going to share in with it could even be certain friends like yo at the end of the day i care about you so much I even care about your friends. Like, I know they're your folks, but we still all rock out at the same time. You know what I mean? You know, that type of thing. So, like you said, once we, you know, as we grow, our boundaries and whatnot, you know what I mean, they do change. So, you know, early on, you might be like, yo, them chicks, they just like football because they just trying to get up under these niggas. And, you know what I'm saying? Because we had a conversation about that a while ago. You was like, I hate when these chicks be liking football. They just be liking it because they be trying to get up under niggas. This, that, and the third. And yeah, that that might have been how it yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. I can see you watching movies together, but to I don't play, think like so sports is like a boundary, though. Like, you yeah. know what I mean, like I just think like boundaries, like you gotta have. Yeah, just stand mm. firm for something. Like I say, nobody can't play with you; they can't disrespect you. Mm -hmm. Um, and you just keep saying, "Oh no, it's cool because it's you." Because you gotta think, like, like mm -hmm. you said, you show that weakness a couple times, you're done. You know what I mean, especially I don't care who you is, especially like if you like respect it. And a, a chick play with you, man. Hey, you looking all crazy out here, and you keep going back and keep yeah. going back. You fucking stock plummets. You hear me? Plummets. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> that's yeah. that's a fact. No, and I want to make it clear too about the the whole football thing. That's not something that I feel that is a <clears throat> a, 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 a boundary crosser or nothing like that. I definitely, you know, what I'm saying that I'm you know I, I'm okay with you know Sheree not wanting to um, you know be into football. Like I never really was on that tip. We just had we had battles because it was a football game on at the time and you was trying to see something else but I don't, I don't necessarily feel like you have to you know watch football or you know what I'm saying like I don't necessarily subscribe to that but I'm just saying you know there are benefits to you know what I'm saying enjoying things that your your, your partners mm -hmm. enjoy but I, I don't feel like you know what I'm saying you have to watch no football and shit like that you know what I mean uh, I, you know so, I'm a little no, late. Well, though, nobody but. can't sneak on. No, hold up. Somebody said so. Unfortunately, so he's speaking knowledge. You don't want another film female to sneak on a turf. Well, no, not necessarily. It don't have nothing to do with that because 
you know, again, at the end of the day, like, um, even with the football thing, like, like I said early on in the conversation, like, he right. didn't take the time to try to teach me to like it either. So it was like, you forcing me to do something, but you're not walking me through it either. So again, and I ain't blaming him. It's okay. I ain't mad. I mean, but it was just something I just wasn't into. So, um, I don't feel like somebody can sneak up because of football um, or anything like that. But I, that was just one example that I just used that, you know, certain things, what they were talking about when somebody um, wants you to, like, keep doing stuff or getting into certain things and stuff like that. You do still have to have your own mind and your own boundary when it comes to certain things that you want to do and what you don't want to do. And the person that you would have to be understanding because there's going to be a time where it's things that they don't want to do and you got to respect it. And it, it, it's not intentional either. You know what I'm saying? They're not just trying to be against you or anything like that. It's just like, okay, I got to respect it. I can't be mad at you. I ain't going to force you mm -hmm. to do something that you don't want to do. So so before I get out of here, I want to know, like, what are you guys, or even some of the people in the, um, that's watching it, like some boundaries, some, give, give me some boundaries. I just want to know some of, like, what are you, some of y'all boundaries? Um, so some of our boundaries, um, Like which which mean like some of our boundaries like oh like certain things like you just not going for brother Sharice certain things you're not going for you know what I'm saying like just certain things like no I don't care if, if who who do who said how much clout money whatever I'm gonna get I'm just not going to it like you know what I mean like I'm just not going for it. um I'm gonna say I'm gonna say for real for real, like I I have boundaries you know what I'm saying we we both have boundaries but I also have patience so it's not. I can't really say it's any, you know what I mean, one thing that I'm going to say, like, I don't think she's capable, you know what I'm saying, of of doing just the type of person that she is. I don't think she's really capable of doing, you know, something that I'm like, you know what I mean, is, is a wrap for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm not saying shit that you're not going for, more. Like, does you as a man, beloved, I'm not going for this. You draw a line and saying, like, what is no, nothing, nothing? I done, I done did that shit with a few things. You know what I mean? It's, it should be a work in progress. You know, I, I ain't going to hold you. Like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we... Well, if, I, if I say, Ma, I got these perks, brother. I want you to try them. <laughs> got these bandies. Got this crap. You're going to like, oh, all right. Like, you're going to draw a line. You're like, nah, bro. Hey, fuck out of here. I got these perks, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I, I, you know, I, ain't, I ain't really rocking with somebody that's gonna give me no crack and no perks, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's how most niggas get turned out, though. Yeah, so no, this from a woman. No, Bobby already Vice knew what person. time it was. Bobby was already dibbling, dabbling. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> when the situation came, he was, uh, he already was interested. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Nick, what's up, Nick? Uh, no, <laughs> that's, a, that's a fact. That's a uh, Jenga bomb. That's a fact. We definitely not doing the, the chitlins. But that's what I'm saying. I don't got nobody that's going to put no chitlins in my face. Like, that's not even a, like, you done, done. That's the uh, that's the ultimate. You just let me know you want to go. That's what you're doing. You pretty pork, much just saying, pork, punch pork my clock. Pork, huh? pork, pork is a no-go. Yeah, but that's that's already known, like. That's what I'm saying. It's is that part of all right. So what's what's some what's some of your what's some of your, your deal breakers, Skizzy? Because you, you you know what I mean this 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 brother is a you know what I mean a man of the streets. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Boy, it's sick. You it's sick. It's you know what I'm saying? So, I'm changed. I'm changed, bro. I'm you know what I mean? So so have you, you had a situation where like you know what I mean you had to like you had to draw the line because you felt like somebody was like kind of stepping outside. You know what I mean? Like like. Either taking your kindness for weakness, because you know in a dating game it's even it's even more critical because these you know these Jones they everybody just looking for what they can get. You know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. sometimes you got to really you got to really have your your antennas on to see is this Joan like just about what she can get or is she really about me or is she really about life like what you know so like tell me like give me an example give us an example where you you kind of like saw where a chick was you know what I'm saying kind of stepping across the line, you know what I'm saying, they're going beyond some boundaries and you had to kind of put that in check. Um I ain't gonna say well I'm gonna say it is a boundary. Like popping up. I don't, I don't do the pop ups, beloved. I okay. Do, you're done. Don't pop up. 
pop, don't pop don't, up, beloved. Y'all heard that? Up. Don't pop I won't up, do beloved. You. I won't. No, you, no, you're not welcome. I'm not. Don't pop up. That's you're something I'm standing welcome. on. That's something I'm standing on. Um, popping up. Um, any any homosexual activity? No, I want to. I don't want to do nothing. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not experimenting on anything. Like certain drugs. Certain drugs. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. I may smoke a little hookah. Uh, might take some THC, brother. That's about it. That's <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Um, uh, uh, even like, like you saying, like, like, um, I must say, like, religion and stuff like that. Like, I got, I gotta have like my own mind, make my own mind about certain things, and then like disrespect. Like, I mean, I can't. Like, you know, we we can you know curse at each other and stuff like that, but like certain things, I'm just not standing for. I'm not talk to. Like, you can't fuck with me and. Carry yourself a certain way as a woman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. just, just oh, oh. so so all right. So look, here you go. Here we go. Let's let's go one step further because when we talk about boundaries, our boundaries do change based on who we fuck with. So some people who we don't fuck with. I don't with, agree with that, Ma. Huh? That's what the boundaries are for. I don't agree with that. But, but hold on, hold on. That's not God. They do change, Scott. I got you, but 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 all right. So look, Scott, Scott, this this is what I'm asking. So you ain't never had a John that you crossed the boundaries with, which you wouldn't do for another John. But this one, you kind of fuck with it, like you know what? Ah, not boundaries, right. not boundaries, like, though. Huh? <laughs> I'm just like, saying. Yes. yes. I'm just saying. I'm the fuck <laughs> down. <Three shots. laughs> Yo, the comments yeah, going brother, crazy, Keith, Scott. Yes, Hold up, what? yes, my brother. The comments is the lot like of like a like a hard like a hard stop. No, like like like. No, that's it, what I'm you, 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 no, you, you get no. Hold on, hold on. A little bit. You overlooked huh? it a little bit, brother. Oh yeah, for anybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, everybody. Listen, we we all sweet for somebody. Everybody get a pass. Okay. But okay. we just talking about like blatant, like blatant, like. No, but it's no, but come on, East, keep coming, East. We talking about blatant, East. We ain't but talking but about no, blatant. but it but it do no. kind of it do kind of start there because we'll take a liking to somebody, right? And we'll lower our you know our standard for how we get treated. Yeah, we might even just be blinded right, by I'm the situation. Boundary you know I mean? crosser. Hey, look, I'm that's Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick is a dildo dealer. She she sells sex toys. Oh, you guys. Oh, so she got that's the handcuffs the and the paddles. Are. No, she got all that kind of stuff. She got this. She got <laughs> right in the line, brother, She's all definitely a boundary crosser. Get Nick, <laughs> invite Nick in. Invite Nick in. She gonna get all the freaks to jump on your live. I'm trying to tell you. Nick, all yeah. these crazy uh, names gonna pop in the, the chat. Yeah. Which one? Erotic Aurora. Aurora. Yeah, oh, all right. And I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Wait, pal. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -oh, here we go. Yeah. I just got out the shower. I just got out the shower. My face is looking crazy. I got to got it. jump in this chat. It's going to be super thick. Oh, uh, there they go. Nasty, all these people, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the names that's going to pop up on the screen right here, okay? Mm. You a legend, yeah, no, you I just a legend. got out the shower, so I'm not, my face ain't ready for the camera just yet. But I'll play it up. <laughs> Yeah, but that want, so we, we want to know some of your boundaries, Nick. That's it. There you go. Um, you know, I used to have boundaries. Wow. <laughs> mm. I'm a, I'm a very, I do have boundaries. I, I'm, I'm joking when I say that. I do have boundaries. <laughs> However, the boundaries are listed once it presents itself because I'm a very, very open-minded woman, right? Mm -hmm. So. I'm always into learning about what makes everyone tick because what I did with somebody or how they treat me, I can't expect the other person to do the same exact thing because we're all different. Right. So I, I cross the bridge when I get there. Right. Yes. So, so have you had a situation where, um, in, in, um, in either dating or, or dealing with somebody, um, that you typically wouldn't take, you know, it, let's just say you had a, a, a deal breaker, you know what I mean? Or a situation mm -hmm. that you wouldn't normally do with most guys. Have you been in a situation where it was a guy that you really took a liking to and you was you kind of let him slide more than, you know what I mean, any of the other guys you may have dated? Yes, and that was only because... <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> that was only why you say whoa. That was a sinister <laughs> laugh, but I don't. <laughs> because every everything everything has a cost, right? Everything has a cost. It's gonna cost you something, something, something. So. Yes, there was um, a guy who I allowed to cross boundaries because he took care of me financially. Mm. Mm. He did things for me financially, but mm. he also knew that he was crossing that boundary, but he understood that it would have to cost him in order to cross that boundary. Mm. Mm. So that might be some extra, some extra bread or, you know what I mean, or it might be a bag or, you know, something that you enjoy. It was it's something rubs could, hands could, like Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> Insert Elmo fire meme, right? Wow. <laughs> I got a whole but lot it, of <laughs> inside <laughs> inside stuff going on there, player. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me find out you like the ball in your mouth and the paddle. You know Ooh, what I mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This thing about me, black man. She put her pet leather on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're done, player. Sheree, y'all off topic, Sheree. You, you uh, gotta get you back on top. No, 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 no. Listen, we no, we we right on topic. You know what I mean? We talking about boundaries. You know what I mean? You said mm -hmm. you like the ball in your mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> You know what I mean? But no, I just, yeah, I just yeah. said, like, you know, we do allow. Come on, I'm crying. <laughs> like, we, we really do allow different people, you know what I'm saying, to, to get away with certain things. And then yeah. when we lock in, we expect them to, you know what I mean, to change. But we didn't already allow them to get away with certain stuff. And in most cases, people not giving up that leverage. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It could be something like coming in at a certain time, you know what I mean? If, mm -hmm. if you're dating and living with somebody, you know, y'all might have a situation where this guy in particular, you know what I mean? You let it slide that he come in at, you know, 3 in the morning, 3.30 or whatever the case, or 4, whatever the case may be. And, you know, all of a sudden, now you want to switch up. And my man like, no, like, you know, this is how you met me, you know what I mean? And, you know, you didn't have a problem with it initially. So, you know, how are we switching up the game at this point? So that that's a that's another you know what I mean topic also is like if you if you are trying to change you know what I'm saying the boundaries that was set you know like at what point do you at what point do you change the boundaries that set if you feel like you know things should be different or is that okay if you met a girl that you know what I mean was a dancer and now you want her to not <laughs> dance is that okay you know what I'm saying like. You Mom, how old you? at first, but now it's a, it's a deal breaker. 42. To use that example is crazy. I'm like, he's, he's, he's up there. He's up there. I'm just he's saying. There. You know what I mean? Somebody with a name. Naughty somebody. What is it? Naughty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my girl. That's my girl. Naughty I, Nice. I knew New it was York, coming. Man. It's jumping. <laughs> <laughs> tapping the names like what they look like what, what's going on over they here keep on what tapping. Page look like what the page <clears throat> tapping all the names you know what I mean uh, uh, uh. but that's a good question I have a question for you guys though like because yes everyone does have boundaries and there are certain things that you won't let slide no matter who it is but there are you know it, it is a sweet spot for a specific person and my question to you is what has crossing what has allowing a person to cross your boundaries what does it cost you? Mm, that's a good question. Good question. <clears throat> um, dang, that's a good question, Nick. God damn. You know, I don't just be over good here stress. selling dicks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Um, damn, what does it cost you? Damn. Mm, sure. Um, it probably costs people heartache, pain, stress. Sure, that, mm hmm. For sure. Um, yeah, respect. You're talking about like real, real life examples, though, right? Because you're talking about like what happened to us. I can't think of something that off the top yeah. like that happened from like me just like... Eddie Cash. Mm -hmm. He said it costs you your peace of mind. mind. Wow. Sure. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. That's a and was it worth it? Part, part B to that, it was it worth it? That's a good one, Chad. Leverage. I like that. Mm. Say it costs you leverage, huh? Yeah. Was it worth it? Mm. I would say no. Dignity, damn. Mm -hmm. It get deep. Mm. This shit really get deep. You really gotta set up boundaries. Mm -hmm. 
You really do. You know what I mean? Forgetting who you are. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's a good joint too. Yeah, I think I think uh I don't know, Nick. I can't think of that. It was like, damn, that like I just let that shit slide. The next thing you know, I'm out here smoking crack. Like I can't think of nothing. <laughs> I can't think of nothing right now. I just can't wait to like. I just let certain shit go go on for so long, and it's like I'm just out here acting crazy. Somebody said not feeling safe. Mm hmm. Women, that's a big, big thing with women. We, you know, dating is is difficult as a whole, and then when you you give a, a man your boundaries. They are a, a lot of men. I'm not going to say all because I never speak in absolute alls, right? Thank so you. <clears throat> you're welcome. <laughs> some men, they, they get some sort of excitement and thrill out of learning what your boundaries are and consistently just pushing, 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 mm -hmm. pushing, pushing and telling you what you're not going to do. Oh, you're not, you're not going to do that. Oh, when I'm done with you, you're going to do that. And it's like, why, why are you pushing my boundaries? And then it turns into a whole toxic situation yeah mm -hmm. I, a line stepper i i don't i don't i think as a guy and i again we can't speak for all guys but i don't i'm not with um being with somebody that's telling me something that they that they did with somebody else and and saying they're not gonna do it with me so that mm. that would be a problem for me you know what i mean if you if you you know what i'm saying um did something with another guy and we supposed to be you know um Let's just say we're in a relationship, but you say, oh, you know what? That's the last dick I'm going to suck. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody else getting a dick suck out of me. Like, for me, I'm I'm like, no, no, no. We No? You got one more, so motherfucker. <laughs> you got would you not, Maul, Maul, I have a question. Would you not try to dig a little deeper to find out what happened in that situation that she feels that way? Because it could have been mm -hmm. he pushed her head down one too many times and right. she threw up. Right. And so now she's scared and got PTSD right. because of the next dick that goes in her mouth. She thinks that a nigga gonna push her head down. Yeah. Mm. No, nah, mm. but right. you know what? And, like and, controlling. No, and, and and right or making her feel safe enough to want to suck your dick. Right. Mm. Right. Just right up Nick Alley. Here she go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't went off topic. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Listen, but this this Keith, is, you know I'm smart. I'm no, no, I'm a, <laughs> but Nick, I'm He's I'm a motivator. You know what I mean? I I'm this a motivator. I'm I'm going to inspire that woman to not quit. You know what I mean? Because winners <laughs> never quit. And I think that ball, you are a ball. champion. And I, I'm going to pull out the best. Listen, trust. I got. He's going to pull Nick. out the cat poster, kitty old listen, door. I'm telling you, I got. I'm going to inspire. This, you know what I mean, blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? To the best of my ability, believe right. that. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm your guy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, in terms of that, yeah, we're going to support that. But it, I was just speaking to when you was like, you know, why do guys, you know, why you, uh, are you a button pusher? And I think that would go the same for, for a female. If you're like, yo, man, the last yes. chick I was with, we was going all on these expensive dates. You know what I mean? We yes. traveling. We go, man, I ain't, I'm done with that. You going to be like, what, nigga? Hold on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, right. you're going to push that envelope. Mark. You're going to be like, no, nah, let's, um, no, you know, let's go to, you know, travel.com, start looking up X, Y, Z. So I think, I think that's what happens. You want to, you want to be, mm -hmm. you want to be remembered in a relationship. You know, you want to have a lasting impact and you definitely don't want to not get <laughs> the, the, the fullest out of whoever you're with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I think that's probably why some guys, and even some females do push the envelope because they don't, you know, you don't want to be the person that didn't get the most from this, from this person. Yeah, you know but, what I, mean? I mean, like, like she said though, like sometimes there'd be a reason why a person doesn't do certain things when they move to another relationship, because mm -hmm. whatever happened in the previous relationship may cause them to feel like, Oh wait, let me take a step back. Let mm -hmm. me not suck his dick this time. <laughs> let me go for, Something else because the last time I was sucking everybody dick and that wasn't getting <laughs> 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 I'm just saying 
This is not a true story, guys. Just, just what I'm <laughs> Damn, more wife. The views expressed by these companies is not of those of the guests that are on the spot. <laughs> right. But I'm just, no, I, I'm just saying, like, sometimes people change up their patterns because that's what they are. They change up their patterns because of previous experiences they had with other people so it's like okay if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and you like okay i keep getting the same result i gotta change up something mm -hmm, you know so it's like you you gotta be like you can't just feel like all right well you was doing that with so-and-so or whatever like you want to know why like you know don't feel like well damn why i ain't getting it that's a shame like a, like a child like that's not fair why am i not getting yeah. it well, Even with the celibate drone, celibate. like, but, but, yeah, being I, selfish and not no, trying this, to really. No, I was saying like, like even with the celibacy type thing, it. it's just you know what I mean. I like, uh, so I get, I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? But it's like just, and that's all good. Like, but just don't tell me. You know what I mean? Don't tell me. You know what I'm saying that you you're celibate. You know what I mean? And you was you know <laughs> doing you having a great time, but now for me. You know what I mean? You're, you're holding back. Phone, right? You know what I mean? Don't let me know that. That's all. Just do it. Like, if you're going to do it, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know, just do it. But don't say, oh, when I got to you, you know, I decided, you know what I mean? I've been doing things the wrong way. I was, uh, you know what I mean, I was having a blast and giving this ass up. You know what uh, I mean? But to you, uh, uh, I prefer to have <laughs> dates every week. And what? then uh, after nine months, you cannot, you, like, you can smell you it. You know, she wanted to be celibate and uh, she liked you and she wanted uh, to really get to know you. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh. you just. <laughs> That's not fair. That's, that's not fair. It's very fair. I think it's, I think no, it's that very the, fair. The approach, no, that's not fair because it's, it's not, not it's not the same model. It's not the same body type. It's not the same yeah. tax bracket. It's not the same no. any of those things. You know what I mean? Yes. Because because there there's a there's something to be said about a person who doesn't project their insecurities into a situation <laughs> and goes into it just really trying to understand what that person been through, mm -hmm. like. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Good night, night y'all. Zebras don't change their stripes. Okay. All right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It was. It was. It was. It was that simple. You know no. I mean? <laughs> yes, they do. Sometimes they do. Sometimes but when you when you getting but you get when you getting ready to know a person or you in a situation and <clears throat> you're really really getting to know them, you know like, you you like, what they're going through. Just like wanting what they used to do when something happened happened to them, something happened to them clearly, which is why they're not doing that anymore or at, in that moment. So mm -hmm. I think the focus should be less on why you're not doing it to me versus why aren't you doing it? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I I see what you said, um, and that's and 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 that that is a good that's a good way to look at it, and and, and the reality of it is, man, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, the celibacy thing, um, it sounds good in books. But in, in real life, you know what I mean? It's a give and take. You know what I mean? And in, in, in the dating process, it's a give and take in life, period. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, sex is a form of communication that, you know, I think we, we just kind of take for granted at times and we look at it just like it's a get off you know what i mean or whatever but mm -hmm. a lot of times you know what i mean some of the ways that you can really connect with somebody and get to to understand them with uh, like without the verbal you know what i'm saying without communication verbally you can find out a lot about somebody based on you know what i mean sex and you know what i mean at the end of the day i think that as a friend somebody would care that much but like outside of a, a movie or a book like, um, you know, it, I don't know. It's, it's for somebody to really, you know, lock in with you. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, um, outside of your parents, you know what I mean? I don't think anybody, <clears throat> that's going to be a tough one. I think that slims out your chances of finding somebody for you, especially when you tell them, you know what I mean, that I'm not, like, I'm on a, you know, whatever, 90 day, I don't know, whatever, celibacy thing. And, you know, I think that starts to put people in a box. And I, I don't think well, you know. I don't that. see how because she may not be having sex, but she can give you a good blowjob. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, well, now we're talking. I mean, listen. I mean, <laughs> no, okay. Uh-uh. Hey, uh-uh. Yeah, uh-uh. Well, I, I'm concerned. Uh-uh. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm concerned. <laughs> we we getting somewhere all, now. You, you know what I mean? whole spill about why she wasn't giving them no ass and how it was so important. You know? You heard mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. so important. And then as soon as I said she was going to give up a blowjob, you're like, oh, all right, then cool. So what yes. what what makes, what's different? Because if she, you should just respect it in general if she's coming to you and saying, like, right now, I'm just celibate and I feel like this is her boundary. This is where yes. she's like, I'm I, I like, can, I can respect right it, now, but I just can't, it. I can't, I can't, you know what I mean? We limit it, like, you know what I mean? We can, as a friend, you know, I'm cool with it, but if you're not, if you're not working, like, you know what I mean? It's going to be hard for us, for me to put you in that slot. Now, when you're joined back working, like, let's, now we can talk we're a little bit more. Working. Like, what? You got, mm. you know, mm. you got do not mm. disturb on that. You know what I mean? So it's like, no. Uh, and, look at and this again, man is married, okay? Again, mm. the, the same thing, with, same thing would happen. If that man said, you know, I normally be going ham on these chicks, I'll be buying them bags and all that. I'll be taking these expensive things. I'm done with that for 90 days, beloved. You know what I mean? I, I really do like you. And for 90 days, you know what I mean? I'm just on a cleanse, a financial cleanse. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be okay. like, Negro, please. No, I'm not. I'll be like, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we Netflix and chilling then. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I respect mm-hmm. that. See, see the difference in I your respect- mind? And my response, you gonna say I what I'm saying it. is like whatever, but that's what I would say. I would be like, okay, yeah, no, cool. I, I respect it. You know what I mean? I'm just my my truth is, you know what I mean? It, it's not <laughs> gonna last dating, long man. if I'm not if I'm not. You know what I mean? I don't make no. This this is just y'all crazy. don't understand. Like you this know, and crazy. I know we off topic a pinch, but the reality of it is, you know, what I'm saying? no, it's boundaries. <laughs> Yes, it's definitely boundaries. It's definitely boundaries. But the reality of it is, man, sex is very important, you know what I mean? And y'all hold, like, the key to, to pleasure and, you know what I mean, and, and, and a lot of things that is really healing to us men. So, you know what I mean, you need to have a healer on that. If, if, if you're not a healer, then, you know what I mean, I, I can't, up, you know what I mean? I, I, need, I need me a healer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mm, mm, <laughs> Listen, uh, you know what I mean. I'm sorry, and I, you know, but everybody's different. It's it's some people that really, you know, definitely would be okay with that. I guess you know what I mean, and that's that. All right, who that? You should be you should be okay yeah, with it if you want her to be okay with saying that you are on a financial, you know, celibacy or whatever. You know, you I just wouldn't do to, that. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't. Why? I would, first some all, I would, people need to be. No, but some people but need listen, to chill and put their wallets down and get the their point finances is, together. And that means we can't go to Ocean Prime, boo. We can't go get that nice bag you like. <laughs> we can't go get those good shoes. That is, I'm just saying. No, listen, I respect it. But I'm you just on saying, a financial? Don't tell you know? me. So, like, so like, if I was on a financial job. <laughs> If I if I'm if I'm on a financial the head is my healer. If I, if I'm on a financial <laughs> That's my guy Jack. Shout out to Jackson. Jack, what up, bro? <laughs> if I'm if if I'm saying Poor if I'm on a financial deck. cleanse, I I shouldn't be telling you about what I did with everybody else, is what I'm saying. Like I shouldn't be telling you about what I did with all these other females or whatever, how much I took them on lavish, this, that, and the third. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not gonna tell you that. If I'm going just Netflix and chill, then we just gonna play it from that, you know what I mean, on that type of time. But just don't, don't, that's, that, no. Nah. Don't nobody want to be the one that get the, the heel of the bread. Like, you know what I mean? So, no. I, I, so, so you know I mean? sensuality and, and sexuality is very, very important to me. So I get mm-hmm. what you're saying, all as far as, like, sex being important in a relationship. It is, it falls a very important tier <laughs> yeah. in my life with whomever <laughs> I might deal with. But as of late, like, take, uh, and my good friend Jackson, he had a podcast mm-hmm. with Mike Stan. Take sex off the table and see what outcome you get. And that's exactly what I've done mm-hmm. as of like the last year. Like completely, regardless of what I do, how I be on the socials, I talk my shit. I put my pussy on social media every day. Mm-hmm. And my mm-hmm. pussy's on social media every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I build relationships. I make shit <clears throat> solid with folks, right? Mm-hmm. But once you take sex off the table, because then see what you have, because people have this preconceived notion of who they think I am and what they think I should like 
just because of the image that they see on social media, right? Because I'm able to talk about sex so fluidly and so openly and so mm -hmm. just, you know, all of those things. So when men me, oh, yeah, I know you. Yeah, so what's up? I'm saying, you know, you want to come back to tonight for the... No, sir. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. No, mm -hmm. I don't. No, that's... that's, 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 that's that unfortunately a has been used as a, a weapon against women to get closer to women. What's that? Come on with the weapon sex. stuff. Don't start that. It is. It's, it's a, and that's why it's such a boundary. It's a, actually a boundary for a lot of men I know too. They're like, I'm not. I'm not having sex because shit gets cloudy. That's a boundary. Mm -hmm. No, I, I that I can agree with. You know what I'm saying? it can. You can <clears throat> have those moments where you like, you know what? Sometimes sex can fuck up you know, a decent, you know what I'm saying, friendship or, you know, or like, a, like, but, but that again, to me, I think that can sometimes be when you want to keep it in a friendship zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're like, you know what? Yeah, we sh we should know. fuck so we could be best friends. What? What are you saying? No, I'm saying that. <laughs> No, I'm saying that. They I'm don't say, never no, I'm saying, saying that. I was saying lying. actually the opposite. And they're already thinking about fucking you as soon as you open your mouth. Mm -hmm. What? What are you talking men. about? Men. But that's okay. I that's, that's, we, we're wired a certain way. If if men wasn't down to fuck all the time, it'd be like thirty. It'd be like thirteen hundred people on Earth. You know what I mean? We got to have this engine. <laughs> that's how the population. How you think it's is? How many? How many billion? All my my smart people. Chad, well, yeah, how many billion people we got on Earth? <laughs> Seven point eight billion people. <laughs> how many? <laughs> Seven point eight million. Seven point eight billion people. Okay, it's some fucking going on, and it's necessary. You know what I mean for the for the the growth of life. You know what I mean. All right, so <laughs> we got we got we got Chad on here. Chad is 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 being very patient and. And and humble, you know what I mean. Let's let's That's see what really our guy Chad head. has to say about balance. What's up, guys? Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity for being on your podcast. Thank you for there everybody you on Apple Come Music, on, and iTunes, Spotify, and all of those things. But I also want to let people know that my opinion is my opinion. I'm not scared of anybody. And if you don't agree, I, I challenge you to listen later. I challenge you to listen later and take your emotions out of it. And maybe you can think logical if you was a male. <laughs> anyway, um. I think that boundaries, in a sense, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to take it a different way. Okay. It is, uh, boundaries is one of the biggest waste of time I've ever seen in life. Mm. Um, I agree with what you said, Maul, about not telling people stuff. Yeah. Because what happens is when you tell people stuff, you become the prey, right? Mm. So, like, if a woman says, I never like grapefruit juice in my mind, I'm like, why you don't like grapefruit juice? Or let's just say orange juice. Oh, I don't like the pulp. Well, I'm going to try to find a way to make you drink it because I want to be the one that puts you on orange juice because ain't nobody ever tell me that they ain't like my orange juice. Mm. Or you don't like lasagna. I'm going to make lasagna. Oh, you don't like lasagna with ricotta? I'm going to take the ricotta out and put it and substitute it with something because nobody really tells me no. My ego tells me to take the challenge. Mm. It's like if a girl say no on the first time, I'm going to keep going yes. because I ain't. It's no way you could tell me no, so I just got to come with a different type of spoon to feed you. Teresa, so when no. you tell somebody... Oh, no. I'm really going to test you. As a man, like, we ego like If mom <laughs> say I'm good in basketball, or how good are you in basketball? It becomes a challenge. Yeah. So when you tell me you're not interested and you 90-day rule, guess what? I'm really going to be around <laughs> for 16 to 19 days to just see mm -hmm. if this is really going my way or it's going your way. Mm -hmm. You know, so when people tell you your boundaries, people play with your boundaries. Mm -hmm. And we're only as good... If I see a girl outside and I say, yo, baby, yo, baby, what's up? Don't get offended. Just know that this has worked for me before. So I'm only doing <laughs> what has worked for me before. So if you a lady that say you don't give fellatio, I've been with 16 women that gave me fellatio. Mm -hmm. You the only, I don't believe that that exists. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I'm going to be around and just, hey, Netflix and chill, take my elbow, put it behind your head. <laughs> All of the nice swoop moves I could do to get you to do what I want you to do. And the goal is, it's so hard. It's really hard. And I'm not saying that people can't, but it's so hard to stick to your boundaries. Mm. And boundaries are only beneficial when you don't like a person. Mm. When you like a person, your boundaries get dropped. Not all of them, but some of them lose the, it's, you know, that, hey, uh, I got on this bulletproof vest, but if it's somebody I like, some of them bullets can skip through and hit me. Mm. It's just how it is. Mm. So therefore, everything is a test. 
you say don't call you a bitch, I'm gonna joke around one day and call you a bitch. Mm. And see what you do. If you laugh, you're gonna be bitches forever. Mm. If you situation, I'm gonna respect it. But it's just so hard to keep up your boundaries. And it's no disrespect that you have a boundary. I'm just testing your boundary to see how strong your boundary is because what you don't want to do and that, that's conducive with that boundary is something I really want to do. And I don't believe you. Mm. I don't believe you. Because we as people nowadays are so indecisive, you know, one day you at church, then the next day you, you're a Muslim, then the next day you you atheist. Mm -hmm. People can't keep their mind together enough to have boundaries mm. long enough to not to, for me to respect them. Mm. Don't tell me you this and then I go to your Instagram and it's that. I understand that you are allowed to have entertainment or whatever, but which one is really real? <laughs> so here goes, you know, okay. How many people are getting their diamonds or their watches tested nowadays from the diamond tester? Because they're checking to see if these things is real. Mm. So guess what? I'm going to put your boundaries to the test and I'm going to keep trying them. And it takes a real strong woman who has a father in her life to deny me in a way where I understand it ain't going to happen. Mm. But I haven't experienced a woman like that who has that real dad figure in their life that when they say they boundaries is this, that's what it is. Because mm. guess what they say about the preacher's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> so if that's the case, if that's a lie, and you told me about the tooth fairy, and that's a lie, I have to challenge everything. This nigga sound like Kanye West. Listen, man. Hey, he all over the place. Guess what, brother? Slavery was a choice. <laughs> oh, here we go. This guy. You know what? It's, it's, some of the stuff that you were saying, like Kanye, did make sense. He said something. You know I mean? <laughs> some of the other the stuff disrespect. was definitely off the wall, like Kanye also. But it's, it's well, what you think was off the wall? It's giving Predator. He's giving Predator. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm just going to stick with what made but... sense. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> And and it was more than just what I'm what I'm saying, but I think one of the things that stood out what you said was like, damn, you know, it's almost like you're ma you're making yourself a target when you said, oh, I don't do such and such, because that's the first thing somebody gonna be looking for you to slip up on. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I ain't doing, you know, whatever that is. Like that puts a target on your back. You know what I mean? And and you know, um, the interesting point is the other uh, portion of it is is on the boundary side of things. If this person says this is not what they do with most people, then you want to be that that one that can do that. Then. So whatever that that may be, you know, what that I mean? person think, has a job like that person has an importance because I could say 15 things at first and you can say who you experienced it with. I mean, mm. no matter how much y'all talk about it, the first person y'all had, you know, relations with, y'all remember whether it was good or bad. Mm -hmm. You might not remember the 13th or the 15th, mm -hmm. but that first is always the most important. And I don't want to make people feel like I'm out here being a predator, like I'm making people do stuff. It's just that you're going to consistently try different things to see if you can get what you want. Because everything in a relationship, you should be able to get what you want. Not manipulate, but huh, how many relationships we have that's not manipulation? Because yeah. guess what? My wife would be like, how do I look in this dress? Oh, you look amazing, baby. I'm saying but what, 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 about the respect, what about bit. the respect that the person is asking you for when they say, I have these boundaries mm. and they take, they take your, your, uh, your way as just violating, like mm. just blatantly violating. That's, that's, that's a good question. I wasn't talking to you today because you're too smart right now. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I get how it can be kind of like, you know, uh, it's very cynical. aggressive. It's very aggressive, but mm. I don't want to be the guy who sound like I'm Nate from Set It Off. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in that way. I'm not, I'm not talking about nothing too egregious. Now I do can see you just changed my mind about something. I guess there is no respect there because you're not respecting a person, and I guess um, you're not respecting a person, but you're trying to see if a person respects themselves. And mm. everything is a test, right? You you try to see what you can get away with, and I think that that's what the world is about anyway. It's about leverage, whether we want to. Whether we think it's fair or not, um, you're going to try. Now, granted, if you say you don't do head, I'm not going to give you five melatonins in your ginger ale and force your head down there. How do you know the I'm exact going amount? To... Huh? How do you know the exact amount of melatonin to put in a ginger ale? I mean, if they say one works, I mean, I'm pretty sure four works. 
I don't yeah. think it comps out. Like, yeah, man, it's about. getting worse and worse for you, dog. Hey, no, listen, I'm comfortable, but I'm just saying, like, I just mm-hmm. understand it in a different, yeah, different, you different be mindset, tonight, brother. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, you, you gonna try to, cause you, you don't want to believe the things that people say, and people switch up all of the time. And sometimes I was talking to my homie earlier. Sometimes people talk too much. Mm. So if you with somebody, right, and a girl like, you know, I've been pretty. Um, Frivolous with my, you know, with my V. <laughs> um, so right now, I think I'm going to start doing celibacy. That's too much information for somebody who wants to indulge in your V. So now, why? Start- if this is somebody that you're you're trying to build something with, why wouldn't you want to have be honest with them and tell them like? Listen, this is what I'm doing right now in my life. I really like you. I want to be honest. I'm trying to be transparent. Now you tell me I need to lie and lead the person on to believe they're going to get you got lie. They so you can't tell me that information because okay. first of all, I'm going to be honest with you. Us as men, we have shallow things about us, right? And we're not that mature to do that. So my prime example, I can't have a lady that I just met who sh- she basically came out to me and told me she was a hoe. For sure, right? Or maybe she was very, um, very get Mother Teresa esque mm-hmm. with her with JJ, right? So you telling me, all right, we having a good conversation? You're like, yeah, well, I've been with a couple people and they really didn't do me well. Da, da, da. So now you telling me you were pretty open, and now I get here and you going to stop everything for me? We can't yeah, sit down it. at we can't sit down at Steak Forty Eight or Eddie V's with you, knowing that fifteen other dudes didn't even get you. Fair, mm-hmm. car fare to get home so what I'm saying is I'm not telling you you can't change your life and you can't be born again or you can't change who you are or change your behavior based on new information I'm not saying that but I'm saying certain information is not my business don't tell me you was out here and now you're trying to be changed <laughs> on me no just don't say it at all yeah, cause and, and most guys, this ain't back in the day ain't nobody like asking you you know what I'm saying like Relax, and all that. You know what I mean? So, oh, listen, I, I told you, I ain't scared of none of y'all. Some of the, so listen, right? Let me ask you this. I hear what you're saying, but listen, right? So say like, okay, she don't tell you, right? right. And now, and now, y'all home, <laughs> chilling, watching Netflix, <laughs> and then you want to get the rubbing and stuff. And she like, stop. And she like, please, can we just chill? Because in her mind, she know where she at mentally, but you, you know, she ain't tell you. Now she, 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 in an awkward position. You don't put her in an awkward position because you felt like she wasn't supposed to tell you what's really going on or how she feel. So then what? No, I well, I've seen then enough then episodes of SVU to, you to know no means no. Exactly. But, but I, you just said no don't mean no. No means let me try again. No, no, no. <laughs> that's my no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Try again. You know, one no, thing no people gonna always try to do is they're always gonna try to try find... again because fuck your boundaries. <laughs> no, and, no. And fuck what no. you done, you done <laughs> did. <laughs> what I what I'm speaking and, and you know, one thing we all gonna always gonna try to do is try to discredit somebody with some type of uh contradiction. That. No, but listen, let me clarify. When you say something, I gotta clarify. What I'm saying is this mm-hmm. is all based and conducive with conversation. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. All right, yeah, you know, all right, we cool. We got each other number. I just want to let you know that I'm saving myself for 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 my husband <laughs> or for ninety days. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying in the midst, like we right here and we never talked about it. Then I bust my move and you saying stop. I stop. I'm not a rapist. Yeah, I got I got a I got a two stop minimum. The first one is a stop, and the second one is like you sure? Like uh, uh. Maybe. <laughs> Then after that, it's over. It's nothing thrust. I'm not. It's no. It's no. Uh, I just want to see if it's, you know, you know, you know. Stop. Uh, oh, stop. It it's different than stop. Like it's different. You know what I'm saying? It could be a little sexual and consensual. Oh That's kind of cool. Like, what's the you tap know? out word? You huh? got that? Wow. A little tap out He's word. Crazy pineapples or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my wife calling me. I'm sorry. Hold on. Mute. Yeah, I mean, listen. So, I mean, on 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 that side of things, you know, what I mean, I just I just think that <clears throat> some things are for your uh, are, are personal. You know, what I'm saying to you, and I think that if you are on uh, a cleanse or something like that, or if you if you're not having sex, I think it would it would be best not to do the Netflix and chill on because, you know, um, you know, I I think it's 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 pretty much putting a lot of pressure on a guy. You know, what I mean, also, you know, that may 
you know, get aroused by your presence, your smell, your look, you know what I mean? And that whole thing. And of course, a man has to have self-control. But if you're really not really wanting to go there, then I mean, maybe something, a brunch type situation, you know what I mean? Something. Somebody sometime. block me from this, from this uh, live real quick. I don't know huh? if I said something wrong. I got <laughs> Maul, I would agree. I would agree with you 100%. Like, if you're, if you're making moves, if anyone, male or female, is making moves in a specific direction, I don't think you should put yourself in a situation that might make you uncomfortable, you know, or, or make it easy for advances or whatever it is that you don't want to happen in order to happen. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm not... If, if I know that I'm practicing celibacy or anything like that and, and sex is like an ultimate like no and it's a mm -hmm. dead stop boundary for me, I'm not going to invite someone to my house yeah. at, a, at a crazy hour. I'm not going to invite myself over to their house to Netflix and chill at a crazy hour because once the lights go off, yeah. you're comfortable, <laughs> you get to fall asleep yeah. and then somebody gets you the massage. You think the massage is happening in your dream and right. then all of a sudden you busting it wide open and then you're yes. like, wait, 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 wait. Right. <laughs> That's just so I hundred yeah. percent agree with you. Like keep yourself out of situations that might be um that might challenge those boundaries uh that you've laid out for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I totally I mean, but what if, but what if it's like somebody, you know, again, like what if you trying to transition to get back out there but you still wanna do it in a graceful manner? Like you don't wanna just jump head first into you know, sleeping with somebody or whatever, you still, you know, holding your, you know, sticking to your boundary. But at the same time, you like this person, you really want to get to know this person. And, mm -hmm. you know, y'all been out a couple times, things like that. And I feel like if you tell them what's going on, you know, that'll just show that, you know, they respect, you know, where you at right now. Like they trying mm -hmm. to take the time too. They not going to rush you into mm -hmm. the situation. So regardless if y'all Netflix is and chilling, laying, whatever, like this, per mm -hmm. if this person likes you, they will respect where you at right now. You know, it's not like a forever. It's just like right now, you know, I'm just taking my time with it. You know, I want to get to know you, whatever. We should be able to chill in the same room and you don't feel like you got to jump on my back. No, that, that's just you asking know? from somebody, especially at a certain hour. Like, we grown, you know what I mean? And It don't got to be. I'm just saying in general. No, they like, happen all the time. Even, even if when, I say, when I say we grown, I'm not saying, like, you, I'm not saying that that should change, you know, what your you know what you what you want to do with your body and with your journey that doesn't that's not what i'm saying but i'm just saying don't put meat on your back and walk in the jungle that's all i'm saying you know what i mean like that's what i'm saying you know <laughs> ladies you know, don't have a fat back you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all i'm saying i'm just saying you know well i mean i kind of i kind of think that it's like it's because i've been listening i've been looking at comments i feel like one it we're broke like you say we're adults that means we can sit and watch mm -hmm. a movie. You don't have to do. You can compose yourself like a grown adult. Mm -hmm. One, two. I do agree with the whole. Too much tape can put you in a bad situation. So I'll, if I'm a born again hoe or not a born again hoe, <laughs> I don't have to tell you all that. I could just move the way I'm going to move there you go. here on out when I'm dating, mm -hmm. and I could put that out there. And if you don't respect it, that's fine. You're just not for me. Mm -hmm. But we should be able to. I, you know, people have nap dates. Where you just y'all take a nap? That's a date. I'll do that. <laughs> that's my jam. We Where was that? Like, hey, <laughs> I ain't never that. that. Don't nothing have to happen. Those be the ones that show more. Like that's early on. You showing some form of intimacy. I've never heard of that. That you know intimacy other than just <laughs> let's just fuck. Because who cares? Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes guys be so hyped and say, "Oh well, you ain't giving it up. I ain't doing this." Okay, well. I don't want to give you this because that's all it seems like you care about. And if mm -hmm. that's not all you care about, then why are you <laughs> acting like it? No, but I mean, mm -hmm. ultimately, like, I'm going to come already fucked. You know what I mean? Anyway, if that's, if I'm, <laughs> I'm going, I, it's, but it's, it's, you know what I mean? Somebody's getting it is what I'm trying to say. So that's I, if, we I first to dating, if we them. first get to know each other and that's what you need to do because you know I ain't giving you nothing, yeah. that means we not exclusive. And that's okay, mm -hmm, you wrong. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. But you ain't gonna come to the day like though. So since you ain't giving me the games, I done hit up my game spot before I got here. So we good. I ain't gonna say that <laughs> to you. Right. Again, again, right. again. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that. I don't have to verbalize that to you, but I might want to stick it in there with you. But I'm not on that journey. So I'm not gonna be celibate with you. 
You know what I mean? That's your journey, which is I may even respect it. And I might say, you know what, I'm gonna ride this out. But I for you me don't respect it because you don't got fucked by don't. somebody else. Like you said. I know. No, that's too. your journey. No you're not no, that's your journey. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because the thing is, sometimes people have that journey because, like the young lady said, because mm -hmm. you have so many people who who exploit mm -hmm. sex like it's the, the only thing that matters. And it could be a test like, let me see what he's going to say. Because your answer can decide <laughs> whether I give you something or not. And most of the times, the times where I wanted somebody the most is when they wasn't all over me and trying to be all over me. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, what that's I a part of the most. game. I, I do that. It's too. not a game. I'm it's not a game. I respect See, it. and that's yeah. the problem. It's not a Jamal, game. Jamal, you should not it be is. even. Don't listen to him, y'all. That's how I got Jamal, you. we had we it's are our little game. thing. It wasn't listen, like that. Ladies, so don't get that's, cute that's up on here, Jamal. That's how I don't got let Jamal fool y'all, y'all. That's how I it's got Sheree. Because listen, I'm gonna tell No, no, hold up. Can I know what it is? Can I when I first met Jamal, y'all, we see we got taken back to the beginning of the story early in our episode. I explained how I met Jamal, and Jamal' whole thing was, you know, what's up? We grown? Um, <laughs> is we doing this? And I said, no, we're not. And that's all that and said that was, was not right uh, now. Look where y'all at now, because you exactly. respect her boundary. Hello? No, because I got the what I Don't talk yeah. about body that's count. That's why we here. Don't talk about body count. <laughs> how girls is hoes? But then when so somebody don't said they're not going to you none, because you roll she, right she, with she is square. Nobody right. right. square. How you going? Y'all be contradicting yourself. No, no, no. Now you putting words in people's mouth. I didn't. I didn't feel like she was a square for that. I I felt like it definitely wasn't. No, that's. Not, I'm not saying you did, but I'm saying like guys preach this. Oh, body count, body count. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm not gonna be a hoe. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. you ain't fucking. We can't do it. You ain't fucking like that. No. So but like, which one you want? You want somebody who is? I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you if you asking. If you asking the question, I'm not, I mean, it's I just don't listen. I know that you could do. Friends. You could do all kind of stuff because I'm gonna want to have a great experience when we're having sex, but you don't have to tell me. Everything that you done did. That's the key, John. Y'all missing the no, whole thing. No, I agree thing. with that. I agree That's with all that I'm part. Saying. What I'm saying is you know, that you like, made it seem like, okay, well, if you, tell me, you're not, if you tell me that I'm celibate and I'm not doing that right now, okay, well, I'm going to make sure I get mine before I see you because I ain't trying to have blue balls. Right. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. but, 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 that's, but that's why I said, but, Jamal, you can't even really say that because even with us, when we first started, like, even just talking and you said that to me, I told you, like, that's not my thing. And I was just like, you know, it's cool if you don't talk to me no more. I don't care because that just wasn't me. And guess what happened? You was right at my door. You fell in line. Just yeah, like but, I, it didn't, but it didn't stop me <laughs> getting what I wanted. <laughs> but the thing I, is, I and came, the thing is, something I, like I said, sometimes it's it's small, period. I'm just saying. I mean, you didn't. Test. You may not have, but guess what? I can't when am I? When am I to you? When am I to you? <laughs> I ain't just a fuck baby. I'm at 12 years. That's what I am. <laughs> I still hit that part. Bottom line. He about to oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. I got the draws done. The point is, <laughs> you hold your, you hold, you stand your ground and your boundaries for yourself. If you like somebody, you'll, you'll respect yourself at the end of the day and they will respect you too. That's why we where we are. Yeah, so... I, I will say, I honestly, I honestly will say, I did, I did appreciate that. Like I did respect it. You know what I mean? But again, it wasn't, it wasn't on a tip where it's like, um, I'm on a 90 day join and I'm, it could have been that. And I didn't know about it. It could have been like, yo, I've been going, I, I got to change things. I can't just, you know what I mean? Do it the first night. But again, I didn't know about it. She could have been doing one night stands from the rip, it, it, for you know what I mean for everybody before me, but I didn't know about it. So it's like, all right, maybe you yeah, are right, cool. No, this I thought she exactly it. What it I respect I it. That type of you know what I mean. And then all I did I don't was care how grown we are. <laughs> no, so I respected it, and all I did was I just I, I I readjusted my game. You know what I mean? And I ultimately got what I was looking for. You know what I mean? And, and, that's, and so that's, that's why I'm saying, like, Jamal, like, that's nothing wrong with saying. I under, I 100% agree with you. You don't have to give them so much tape because sometimes you can yeah. cause, you know, because y'all sometimes small-minded when it comes to that. Y'all go all over mm -hmm. the board. Like, okay, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I do Say also again. feel like we us are. as adults, Sex. we should be able to Netflix and chill, which really just means that came up with people just having sex. But we should be able to chill as adults and not 
I don't I have to feel like, too. well, damn, if I don't give it up to him, he not going to like me. Because that's the pressure that some guys put on women. Yeah. I, I, ain't I, I, no guy out here going to say, oh, well, because I ain't give it up to her. She ain't mess with me no more. That ain't... When, and, and if it has happened, I need receipts to see the truth. Because <laughs> yeah. it ain't never happened. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Yeah, but like, we, we got <laughs> self-control. You know what I mean? And there's and it's plenty of times, you know what I'm saying, we done been in situations, you know what I mean, um, just as men, well, we really had a genuine time, and we didn't hit. We'd be like, damn, like, oh, mm -hmm. man, that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. Not bad. You know what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed myself, you know what I mean, or whatever. So I'm not – I am i don't want to come across like, <clears throat> like you know, ultimately, you know, men don't have con control and don't have any other things that they value or appreciate about being in the presence of women. Sometimes, like, just being in the presence of women – period it's just it's a good energy you know what i mean it's an energy that you appreciate you got you you getting estrogen around you as opposed to being around niggas with all the testosterone you know so it doesn't have to you know be about just solely about sex you know what i mean however what i was saying is don't make me be the guy that you're trying to reform your, your, your sexual activity on and you know what i'm saying yeah, if you know don't that make you, you be the guy knowingly know that I'm that I'm not yes that knowingly don't know. absolutely knowingly you know I don't want to knowingly be the guy that you you know reforming off of and then too you know what I mean out of respect for you know for whatever you know you should be watching the time frame that you're doing the Netflix situation or whatever you shouldn't be coming over at one thirty you know what I'm saying or whatever the case may be. I mean, mm -hmm. your one thirty at night is my one thirty in the afternoon. Some people work overnight. Oh and no! Get, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I, I get upset, <laughs> but have respect for the time frame because as adults, you know what I mean. Um, I mean, it's five p.m. somewhere in the world. So I no. As, as adults, so like as adults, yeah, I'm still able to control you. As so. adults, we we do have natural cues that kind of exist, and you and it's an assumption. When you coming over somebody's home at a so certain time, so uh, things can go. You not know, if I know you ain't getting the so, yams. So, but I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying, listen, it, it can happen. You already know what type of time. If I said I ain't get up the yams, it, it I can happen. come over at 3 o'clock in the morning. We going to cuddle and go to sleep. We gonna so sleep let me ask you a question. Is it a, is it a double standard if, if a man doesn't want to have sex with you? Because I've, no. I've personally heard for women that, that don't even have, exist, have been for in real. the presence of a man. I mean, no, it, I it, know, it can happen. It does happen. I've had guys say that, and I was like, and, right, and, and they say the guy's pressed. gay, or pressed. you know what I mean? Uh, no, that's toxic. That's toxic femininity. It definitely yeah. is. Like it might be, you know, guys have been in situations, and I've personally heard from guys and women that have been in situations where you know the the females looking at like, with well, them, she starts to take it personal. Like, what am I not, you know, sexy enough, or what is this nigga gay or bashing him? And I'm like, come I mean, on, now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We but see, that's her, that's the thing. Just like in reverse, what if the guy is still maturity? Me, mm -hmm. and I will say yes because women has been women have been portrayed as sexual objects. So if a guy doesn't want to do something to you, that may be your first thought. But if you have emotional intelligence and a maturity, then you're like, you know what? Actually, I'm cool with that. Like you may look at it a different way, <laughs> and it could be <laughs> an age of maturity thing where you, in the you know, where you look at it like that. But I don't think that a guy telling you they don't want to do nothing, I don't think you should think it's you. Because I was just like, oh, all right. Now, if you start doing other suspect things to add to those other categories that we want to put you in, then that's going to determine it. Not just because we, because you don't want to have sex with me. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just saying, you know, it, it does happen where, you know, sometimes we don't want to be used as a tool. You know what I mean? And and I think as men, <laughs> that's you know, where I come in. We have, <laughs> so, dash boudoir .com. Yeah. so that's what I was going to say earlier. Dash boudoir .com. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? The the the, the sexual pleasure. That's okay. Toys, that's okay. We have you know plenty I mean? of things for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making a big deal like you guys, though. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, say less. <laughs> Rose, it is tonight. It's so <laughs> Rose, I mean, I mean, oh, they have stuff for guys. Too. Like I bought, oh. hey, I hey. bought something for my husband for when he goes away. Okay, and her name is Becky, and it goes mm -hmm. both. It goes all. I like it. take Becky with you because mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. figure it out. We got the twisted two now. Don't get it rich. That's what I'm saying. Y'all good? Yeah. We got the positive. Y'all good? Yeah. Y'all good? Y'all good? Curl that pinky toe. So that means why y'all so pressed to have sex then? Y'all got mean? all these things. Because y'all still be acting like y'all got nothing. Be, we don't always be pressed even now. You know what I'm saying? 
What I would like to see, what I would like to see in the the dating the dating arena is more men creating safe spaces for women, for them to know that there's no expectation of of any sort of sexual exchange whatsoever. Like, and be okay with that. I would like to see, I would like to see that. Okay. Me too. I would too because you'd be surprised how much more you go, how much further you get by giving her that space. Because mm-hmm. when you make somebody feel like they have to do something, mm-hmm. we're not going to mm-hmm. call it rape, but it's mental rape. When you feel like Come you have to fuck. do something you don't really want to do. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I'm not making it up. It's true. What I'm saying is the part where you feel like yeah. you have to do something you don't really want to do. Yeah, that but pressure. you feel like if you don't do it, yeah, you like, like you get a check at the end of a date. We all got pressure. It's okay. You'll survive. You, listen, if you talk, come in, if you start the day by saying, "Listen, we going Dutch." All right, you saying your boundary? I ain't paying. Yeah, no, y'all gonna be like, <laughs> y'all be capping, man. That nigga listen, say, and I've done that. I've done that, done that for my own bill. Plenty of and after I meet you, I can mm-hmm. pay for my own bill. So if I'm on yep. with you for what you yep. got, it then ain't about that though. It ain't about that. Like. What, what, what we getting away from, and and I'm okay with paying a check, but what we getting away from is everybody talking about what they can do for themselves. You know what I mean? The whole point is, what can you do within the the the, the confines of a partnership? You know what I mean? And I'm okay with paying a check. Like we're trying to change basic, you know what I mean? Things that we've been doing for for hundreds of years that have been working for us. You know what I mean? And now we're trying to change it. Like why don't we look like you know what I'm saying? Okay, if we go Dutch, it's cool. It ain't going to, trust me, it ain't going to, I mean, hurt. No, no, my point is saying about that was to say like, because you said that what if I decide, if a guy decides, I made that statement based off not straying away from how courting works. I'm... Uh-oh. You're breaking up a little bit. <laughs> breaking up. Bradshaw. But. You said what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, if I if you pay for my meal, meaning I have to give you some, then you don't have to pay for my meal. I can pay for my own meal. That's what you I meant by that. It. No, no. What I'm saying is that you know what I mean. You talking about some, and I, I I get what you're saying, and and it sounds very mature and all that. And you know we want to have women have safe spaces, and I, I you know what I mean, and that's cool. But like we all have <laughs> somebody spaces. said the relationships like that were my best ones. Yep. Were because let me. I'm, well, I'm a very. I don't were. I don't scream to the mountaintops. I'm an independent woman, and I don't need no man and blah blah blah. But I've gone on plenty, many a plenty first dates where I say to them, "Would you mind if I paid for my own meal?" Just because I don't want you know any any sort of unrealistic expectations. And some are like, "Oh, okay, that's cool," and they know what it is. And some is like, "Oh, we ain't fucking." Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad job. <laughs> like, you, might like for that. my, you might as well pay for my meal too, then, baby. They said we still friends. Yeah, you know I mean, and it's and it's like it's like no, I'm attracted to you, but I want to pay for my own meal because I feel comfortable enough to do that. And you know what I'm saying? Like, really, just set precedence. Like, all right, let's let's baby but, step. Cousin, I'm gonna poke y'all real quick. I'm gonna uh, put somebody else in real quick, cousin. Hold up, real, real, all right, real quick. Okay, so about that about that whole like you know what I'm saying you paying your your job. See, like for me, you know what I mean? Like I'm if if we go if I go out with my homies, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of times I'm just gonna take the check and they're gonna take the check. We're not, you know what I mean? Like it's just what it's a But I'm not your thing. homie. I'm not your homie. Yeah. You just said if you're trying to develop a partnership and you're trying to develop that foundation, then you know you're gonna try to uh, essentially put your best foot forward right but yeah. some people they're not out there oh, trying yeah. to build any sort of foundation they want what they want because they want instant gratification right here uh, and right you know, now that's different. they don't that's give a, a fuck about person. your boundaries they don't give Can a fuck about something? what you got going I, just on feel, and yes. I feel like what y'all talking about is just like very superficial I just feel like Oops. when you know you know like it don't matter if you know somebody for 5 minutes or 20 minutes I feel like, like, and I'm, and I talk to plenty of the plenty. Money, no money, it don't really matter. I feel like if you vibing with somebody, and let's just say y'all out, and and y'all might just start French kissing or something. It's just like it just be the moment. Thank you. And I feel like people have like all these expectations. Like I want to pay for my own food because I'm an independent one. It's like no, let that man court you. If mm-hmm. he want to date you, yes. let him court you. And I feel like for me, 
when I was in a dating world before I got married, I feel like <laughs> made a best man win and made a best woman win. Yes. Like, I never cared That's about, for, for, for me, I never cared about if he had a girlfriend, if he did it, like long as he was treating me with respect and X, Y, and Z, I feel like, you know, that's just hold how on, it hold goes. Right he there. Got, like, like right there, ahead. right? Um, we on the same. So let me ask you a question. So how do you gauge, you know what I'm saying, like a potential mate if you don't give them an opportunity to, to, to like, even with a peacock, they going to flare, they flare out the wings just so they can attract, you know what I mean, that mate. And that's throughout nature. You know what I'm saying? So how, yeah, do, feel, how do you gauge just, if you're not giving them an opportunity to like court you? You know what I'm saying? Court you, right. Because I mean, it's nothing wrong with you paying for a date or he paying for a date or whatever case may be. And me, me and my husband, we got married and never had relations. And we got married, and everybody was like, "You're stupid. What if it's corny?" And I just was like, "You know, a low wagon. Like, I don't know." Mm -hmm. And now, you know, we two and a half years in, but it's you know what I mean. So it's just it doesn't matter if you. But my daughter dad, my first, older daughter dad, is like, we had sex on the first night, and it was just like and that was my nigga for like six years. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you vibing, then you vibing. If y'all not vibe, like you know. When you have a conversation with a nigga, I ain't giving this nigga none. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna be what is. He's just gonna be here to pay for this or do this or I'm gonna call him when we out having a nice time or whatever the case may be. But like, just how guys know, like, oh, I want her. Mm -hmm. Like, you might go out on a date with a girl and be like, she's stupid as shit. But yeah, yeah, I probably hit, but I ain't never calling her again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's how girls look at. Well, for me, I, that's how people that be around me or you know be looking at niggas too. Like, uh. It's gonna be this or it's gonna be that, mm -hmm. but it ain't you know what I mean, it ain't that. Yeah. So. But I, I mean, even with the like even down to the, the court and piece, I really I think the court and thing, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, is is a good join because yeah, you know, cause so cause too. when a guy cause that was that was a big thing with, with, with me and Sheree. You know what I'm saying? I was courting like, you know, a few Jones at that time, you know what I'm saying? And she the risk like the the, the the chemistry that we had, you know what I'm saying? And how she reciprocated, that joint meant a lot to me at that time. You know what I mean? Like, it made the best woman win. Yes. She won. And she, if she anybody game out. at that point, and if you're not married, I feel like when, if you're not married, whether you meet a guy, 90, like, like we all grown. So like, I'm going to say 87% of the time when you meet somebody, they, they got somebody, somebody they can call every third of the month to have sex with them. They, they got somebody they can call on Wednesday. They got somebody, you know what I'm saying? But, May the best yeah. woman win. No. Everybody's competing for That's a spot. Effect. It's not really like competition, competition, but like mm -mm. you know if you want something, you're gonna apply pressure. But that's but listen, that's how it is in the jungle. Like them niggas gotta fight for that ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. When it when it comes down to mating season, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Exactly. Like, that's, exactly. That's how it is though. <laughs> I mean, cause I agree with Jamal on this. I had to hop on here. Yeah. Jamal, I agree with you on this one today. L look, we'll never we'll never we'll never agree. You know what I mean? We don't never agree, we'll never but, agree. Said, but on nah, this that one, ain't dead. I think I think definitely let and and that's and that's a problem too because to a certain degree nowadays the guys don't have to do much courting because they just inbox you, boom, that's your first date. The the, the right. inbox is your first date half the time. Right. A lot of times before a nigga even takes somebody out, they can hit just based off a of conversation that they've been doing on social <laughs> media. So it's like you can have that same conversation. You can look. You can do good morning, queen. And that's a mass text. I didn't hit mm. 60 joints. You know what I mean? Now, you might think okay. it's special, which is cool. You know what I mean? Okay. Or whatever. Oh, he hits me every morning. Oh, uh, when I went back But to when you allow somebody to court you, you kind of really can see if they really feeling you like that. Now, on the woman's side, I respect what you're saying in terms of, let's just say you're going out on a date with somebody and you really know, like you said, I'm not really feeling you like that. Now, you're not saying that, but you might be like, you know mm -hmm. what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see this really going nowhere in your mind. I pay my side, right. you know what I mean? Because I, because some some women and men need to be in a safe space. Since we talk about this, women is, mm -hmm. is is allowing guys to take them out that they know for a fact they don't got want no dealings. They just want to go yeah. to a, a restaurant. They are gonna mm -hmm. take the pictures of, of just themselves and just they they meal and just they champagne and just they hand. You know what I mean? And and, and all of that. And put on social media, and they really know they don't got no dealings with this dude. They don't really want to be like, like that. But he gonna take him out to an expensive restaurant and have a good time. But then she deuces, she out of there. So a lot mm -hmm. of guys feel 
Like they getting played on that end too. So from that mm -hmm. perspective, I can mm -hmm. appreciate you saying, "Look, I take my own bill because for real, for real, I don't really see it." You know what I'm saying? Going nowhere or whatever. I don't, hold on, Ma. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I don't think that's like being played because I feel like y'all both gotta agree to go to whatever the restaurant is. You know what I'm saying? But it could be the conversation. It could be the way he eat. It's like he eating sloppy. Oh my god, I'm never coming back out with him again. It's mm. like oh, stupid. The conversation might be stupid, but I don't think. Well, for me, I don't think that it's oh I'm a I'm a um just make them take me to this now. I'm not saying every I mean now the way Instagram is, but like you gotta remember I'm I'm old school. Mm. So back in the like even back in the day, I kind of still run. Well, before I got married, I still kind of ran my shit like that. It's kind of like anybody know that's probably my niggas on here. I was I'm I'm real tight. Mm -hmm. I ain't I ain't giving it up. All my friends know that it just it just is what it is, but. It be, it be, it be, it be, it be depending upon who it is. Like, I'll be killing you. No, with but when I'm saying it, no. no you no, had no. one nigga that you was, but that, I'm not, no, but listen to what I'm like, saying. I just said, two, my three. first people love, I gave it up on the first night. No, okay. when I, when people I, when have I, real when needs. I'm saying this, it be dependent on the vibe. I'm not saying that I never did that, but what I'm saying, it depends on the vibe. But I don't think that I'm, I'm commenting on the comment you made about, um, using a guy, but I don't like, is we gotta agree to go to State Forty Eight. We gotta agree. But you know, you know, females be doing that though. Like on some real stuff I, though. You know, females will. The nigga don't know. No, I'm not saying no that they don't do it. He don't have a clue. I'm he not think he got a shot. That they don't do it. But you can't put all the blame on a woman because no, I'm not saying that. Because no, only because the man gotta agree too. She just not gonna just. But he. Show up but he's like, agreeing because he he feels that he has a shot with you. But for real, for real, you know, based on before you even, like you said, you know, from the rip, like, I'm not letting this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, you you knew that already. But he like, no, let me take you to us, take 48, woo, woo. You like, oh, oh okay. Now. But it could always work in the adverse reaction, too, because I, I told y'all before, like, I ain't like my husband. And it's like, he, we used to go out, and I only used to call him when I used to go out. It's like, I'm going to call him because I know he's going to pay the bill. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, honest truth. Right. But. But like all the niggas, he 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 got me. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to no, say. That's so a fact. That's a fact. even though, but even though I wasn't really feeling them from just, I just was like, yeah, this is stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, no, that's it came that's back a, around. That's you know what real, I mean? So, no, that's a real good point. And I'm gonna say this too because, like, you know what I'm saying? With some of us guys, and and this goes to what we was talking about earlier, like not taking no for an answer, because with some guys. We've experienced a chick like, no, nah, I'm cool, woo, woo. but then when you give them the layout, you know what I'm saying, they come around, you know what I'm saying, and right. they appreciate the fact that, damn, like, I really wasn't feeling this nigga, but he all right. Like, like sometimes how I feel with guys is like sometimes you got to, you like, a female don't even know how thorough you is, and you have to. You know what I mean? Show her, like, all right, that's cool. If you don't if you don't dig this right here, then I respect it. But this this is what I'm coming with. You know what I mean? And sometimes they be like, oh shit, I ain't I ain't know you was on that type. Like you I fuck with you. Or you might be outside of the scope of what I, I'm used to, but like this is different and I'm feeling it. So right. I think yeah. I think that is good to give guys an opportunity to give the layout because sometimes you never know. It might be a diamond in a rough, or it might, you know what I'm saying? It might be a situation where it, it might really, like, you know, be something that you that you might not expect it, but it's something that you really rock with, that you can vibe with, and really, you know, and like kind of and kind of grow with, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, or just you know appreciate. So, um, yeah, on that tip, I don't know how we got on on, on the uh, on that tip, but I mean, you know, these conversations go. You know what I'm saying? We we grown, so we're going to have conversations that's going to lead into other, you know what I mean, interesting topics, and we got to just flow organically with it. You know what I mean? We can't be celibate with our conversations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this man. Way to bring it around, Ma. Way to bring it around. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Sheree, you know what I mean? We're we going to have some closing statements on boundaries, you know what I'm saying? And I'll start it off. And then we going to, you know what I mean, whip it around so everybody give a closing statement on boundaries. So my closing statement on boundaries is I think that they are important when you're dating, you know what I mean? And, but then I think once you get into a lifelong commitment, 
you know, it's going to be, they, your boundaries are going to be tested, you know what I'm saying? Because you're still dealing with the fact that you need to have patience with the person that you sign up with um, for a, a long-term, you know what I mean, or a lifelong, you know what I'm saying, relationship. So up front, before you get in a, a lifelong commitment, definitely I think that setting boundaries and having people respect it is the way to go because the way you start is going to be the way you finish. You know what I'm saying? So if you so you start allowing people to, to cross boundaries and cross lines, then they're going to expect to keep doing that. So in the dating phase, I think keeping boundaries up, you know what I mean, keeping your standards up is very important. Um, once you get into a long-term situation, you know, commitment, you know what I mean, for life type situation, then those things are definitely going to be tested. You know what I mean? And that's where patience comes in. So that's that's my thing on boundaries. Bradshaw, where you at? I'm right here. So I, so for me, I feel like once your boundaries are set, like once you know what you what what you want, but you got to be real with yourself and have self reflection. Mm. Once you know what you really want, because anybody can say I'm never doing it, but once you you know learn yourself, it's like okay, I'm gonna give that a, give that a try, mm. even though it might go against your boundaries, but you're not going to push it to the envelope, but then you might like, don't knock it till you try it. Mm. I'm only speak, saying that only because of like polygamy. I was like, I was never thinking, I'm never doing that. But when I write a book, I'm like, okay, I might can entertain mm. that later on when I get old. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you just never, you should never always be closed minded about your boundaries because as you're growing, like, like the point you made about when you in a dating phase, I feel like your, your dating boundaries and your, marriage boundaries are kind of still the same, but they just might get a little altered. Mm. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah it mm -hmm. does. Um, I, I feel like because you still have boundaries, but... 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 <laughs> it altered because you have to... You, you know, bring it to life together, so you gotta... You gotta, you know, alter. Like, I never wanted to move, to, like, move far. I want to stay where I'm at. But... Mm -hmm. My husband want to move down down south, so it's like, uh, I gotta go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how I feel about the injury. All right, that's what's up. I like that. All right, where we at, Boudoir? <laughs> Did I say it right? Um, yes, Boudoir. Yes, boudoir. yes. My name is Nick, by the way. Yeah, Nick Erotic Boudoir. <laughs> um, I just would would say, uh, try and truly listen to people with the intent to listen and without the intent to respond have clear expectations going into every situation so that you're not disappointed and be willing to grow be willing to grow mm. good stuff i like that i like that all right queen beloved sweetness <laughs> Um, so boundaries, um, is definitely a growing process, um, in relationships in general. Um, as she said, you gotta be open-minded with the person that you're with and yourself, um, and be willing to be ready for change, um, because your boundaries can change, um, based off where you at in your life and in your relationship. Um, so be willing and open for change for sure. Um, I totally appreciate everybody coming on here. This is all, was a great topic as always. Mm -hmm. And if anybody just tuning in and didn't catch it, um, we w um, this episode will be on our YouTube channel. That's the Davises and Friends. The link is in my bio. Um, also, you can download us on Apple Podcasts to listen to um, the audio of this um, podcast itself. And um, we will be doing a live in person on November the 30th, so stay tuned for that. I'll be looking for a panelist for that. Um, I appreciate everybody once again for coming on, and I'll see you next Wednesday, 8 p.m. sharp. Deuces. Appreciate y'all.